Tristan. God, I got the sugar cookie that I made last night. And, like, it was good coming out of the oven, but... God, it's so tough right now. Because once it cooled down, it, like, stiffened up. Like, I want to eat it, but... It's so hard to eat. Yeah, I blame Betty Crocker. It's all her fault. Okay. Let's see. So, <clears throat> over the last two days, we've been playing as the uh, Blue Boy Slug Cat. And we made it all the way to FOMO Ways. We've gotten three out of four Echoes. And right now, we're trying to get out of FOMO Ways to Subterranean, hit that Echo, and then um, finish the game. And I remember the issue we were having was getting food. Getting food was proving to be very difficult. Hey, DJ. Um, because there just weren't things to eat. Finished Spear Master last night? Nice. Fun character, painful campaign. Yeah, it really sucks having to carry that pearl around. Like, it's something of a theme with the downpour slug cats, I feel like. Is fun character, painful campaign. Like, Artificer? Super fun character. The campaign? Absolute shit. In terms of, like... I guess that's fair. But, like, I feel like those are the two most fun characters. Like, in terms of their straight abilities. Aside from maybe Rivulet. The Saint is fun, and Gourmand is fun. And their campaigns don't suck. I guess maybe it's just how painful Artificer and Spearmaster O made the rest of them reminiscent of that. Because they really... Because, like, with Spearmaster, they give you the ability to dual-wield dual wield spears and give you infinite access to spears, and then for the entire game, they're like, fuck you, you can only hold one spear because you have to spend a hand holding a pearl. You know, your unique and fun mechanic? Too bad. It's tough getting food, though. Like, we just don't have... We gotta try to hunt bat flies, I feel like. Yeah, Rivulet, you can just run past everything. Uh, I really don't want to fuck with... I... Could maybe kill scavengers, but that's really not something I want to do when we're about to go to the... Yeah, yeah, allying scavengers to avoid the whole artificer situation, I feel like, felt like it was very important. Especially because you don't have the bomb support that artificer has. Alright, last time we got here... We gotta try to hunt these bat flies. Honestly, do I see a Myos Vulture? 
Thought I saw some shadows moving. Get agitated. Imagine if Myo's Vultures had masks. How did I get my name? The words rhymed. You figured out how the explosions work? It's a reactive thing to you hitting them, right? Is it more specific than that? What's special about fun? We're dead. We're dead. I didn't mean to grab onto this thing. God damn it. And there was a red lizard we could have eaten for food. Rest in peace, gamer. Uh, what's special about farm is that there's invisible worm grass everywhere. Or invisible until you reach it. I didn't mean to grab that pole. I wanted to... It's reactive, creates the equivalent of grenade explosion. Um, yeah, I've noticed that, because it makes fighting them even more miserable than it already was. Because you can't, um, you can't re-spear them for long, even if you can manage to get close or trap them. You gotta keep backing away with the explosions. Yeah, I have noticed it kill. Yeah, they can eat explosive spears. When I was playing as Artificer, I spent a long time trying to kill Myros Vultures in the, um, in the wall. Or not the wall, the underhang. I hit a Myros Vulture with, like, several, uh, explosive spears and explosives. It still wasn't fucking dead. I'm sure some of them, like, hit the wing, but I know I got at least one clean shot off it. They may have some kind of explosive resistance if they have innate explosives. Because being tanky enough to tank an explosive spirit is... A fucking daddy long legs can't take an explosive spirit. And they do produce explosions themselves. So there may be something like that. That are the most like that depths of sun mushrooms. Hunter Longlegs can tank more than one. Well, Hunter Longlegs has more HP than uh, Daddy Longlegs, right? Can't King Vulture survive an explosive spear? If you land it properly, no. A single explosive spear to the chest or head, won't, won't that instantly kill them? If it hits the wing, I don't think it would. But I think a clean shot would kill them. What's our progress so far? Three out of four echoes. We're trying to get out of fun ways. I'm not positive on the King Vulture thing, but I thought it could take him down in one if he landed a good shot. I don't know what my non myos Vulture options for food are. Aside from these bat flies. Bat flies want to come? Oops. Please don't.
What is that? Is that a salamander lizard? I can't eat it if it dies down there. I wouldn't mind snacking on it. I think that red lizard died, unfortunately. That is a salamander. What is that thing doing down there? I don't think reindeer are edible. I don't think they were edible in the base game, at least. It may have changed, but... Oh, no. Okay, Red Lizard. Yeah, yeah, we got a snacky boy. Okay. I want my snacky boy. Fuck. But I need to... I want to snack on this boy. Please. Please allow me to munch on your deliciousness. Wormgrass is going to steal it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How did... What? Was the wormgrass pre-agitated or something? Game over, gamer. How did I get two bombs? I probably went through a cycle without using a bomb, so I had an extra one. Yeah, I guess maybe like the it was agitated from the red lizard and it grabbed me more effectively. I mean, it was big worm grass, but you should, should still be able to move through blue worm grass if you keep moving without issue. A Myros vulture would give us all the food we need. Does he have a gimmick? He spawns with singularity bomb eggs. And the world is miserable. Miserable is an understatement. Uh, for comparison, going through each areas, every cycle, yes. Um, well, you also have 12 food pips. Uh, and I'm pretty sure you do deal monk damage as this character, because I was thinking about it. I thought it was survivor damage at first, but you don't one-shot pole plants. Drop wigs and spitter spiders take, like, two, sometimes three spears to kill. Um, that's monk damage. That's not survivor damage. I think I was just mistaken. Well, just because their skulls are visible doesn't mean the scabs actually eat them, eat sand. They might just hunt them for their skulls. Oh, please. Please. Uh, but yeah. Shaded Citadel. Um... Is normal shaded... Oh. No, no, no. I was talking about uh, Eat Sand saying guess they are edible to scavs. But I, I get what you're saying, Luther. Um Shaded Citadel was just filled with spitter spiders and red centipedes and shit. And uh, it was also extremely difficult to get a lantern, so you're basically wandering through in the dark, surrounded by spitter spiders and drop wigs and coalescipedes. Um... Industrial complex was just filled with train lizards and cyan lizards. Pretty much every single lizard spawn was either a purple lizard or a cyan lizard. Um, outskirts was poorly rendered, and most of the stuff was very difficult to see. It wasn't filled with rot, no, it was poorly rendered. It was all red. Um, and also filled with red creatures. Um, Myos vultures, red lizards, red centipedes. Um... Chimney Canopy, you immediately got fatigued upon jumping and were basically unable to jump whatsoever. Sky Islands is the one that's full of what. Getting out of Sky Islands is absurdly difficult. Going to, um... Going Sky Islands to... 
uh, farm arrays, which we tried to do for like five hours. Absurdly difficult. Hey, pick up the bat fly. Yes, but in exchange of getting fatigued every time you jump, you get frogs like every time, not every time, but almost every time you go through a pipe. Yes, it is possible, but it is exceedingly difficult platforming to make uh, consecutively. We were unable to do it. Uh, we got very close, but we ended up just passaging out. That's what happens. Oh, fuck. Okay, I see. I think we can... Okay, good. I have to pop a bomb to get out, but... Yeah, yeah, the frog is the, the trade-off. You basically have to do all of the platforming with no hand slots. Um, and with a frog. Ooh, hello, hello. Lizzie boy. Okay. Please, we're dead again, we're dead again. We don't have our bombs, so we can't escape there. The interior of Pebbles? I didn't go to, to Pebbles. Um, so I don't know about Goodbye, those areas. Gamer. Uh, Sky Islands is filled with Vaughn. Sky Islands is basically unfortunate development. Um, the low gravity, the Vaughn everywhere. Um, Garbage Wastes is filled with nacho cheese that insta-kills you, and I think Garbage Wastes is also just straight a soft lock, because from what I've heard, the, the shelters fill with nacho cheese water that insta-kills you, because of rain cycles. Um, there are baby slug cats that will spawn. Whenever they die, they explode in singularity bombs and drop singularity bombs. Um, Hype Yard? I think so, Eat Sand. Basically have to one-cycle Garbage Wastes, yeah. Yeah, reskin void liquid. Um, and if you rest at a shelter, you get locked unless you have a passage out, I would, I think. Some shelters may be immune to it. I know the shelter in the, the passage, the gate room. Um, I'm not sure about Shoreline, I haven't been there. Uh, Pipe Yard was trippy as fuck. It was just like, constantly changing rainbow colors. Um, hey, four cents. Uh... Please, oh my god, we're gonna die to this worm grass here. Just save and quit, it'll be faster. I, I somehow got turned around when I was falling down, and I fell down in the wrong direction, so I was crawling slower, so I couldn't get past her. Um, I didn't go to... So Fanta is gonna be in the halls of unfair development, developer hard modes. Yeah, it's very unfair. But I don't think it's, like, unreasonably un- I mean, I'm playing it. We're beating it. It's doable. It's just- Honestly, the main gripe I have with it are th is the rain. The rain is the most miserable part of this experience. Because I cannot play the game until this rain stops. Because I will just get pushed down into the worm grass and I will die. Because I can't move fast enough to avoid it. I can't hunt bat flies when it's raining. I just have to sit here and do nothing. The worm grass is making it very difficult to feed. Because it's stealing corpses, and it's also... making it difficult for me to sit in one place. Yeah, which is... Honest, which is just a miserable mechanic. Because... Like, it's not even like that funny. I mean, I guess it's like a meme, but it's not like, oh, haha, it's raining. It's just like, guess I can't play the game for a couple minutes. Um. Wait, there is a bat fly over there. What's that bat fly doing? Oh, well, they didn't come out when it was raining.
Wormgrass stealing my bat flies. Worst case scenario, we could try to um, make the reindeer to the next shelter if we don't make it to the shelter with enough food. I'd pr prefer more time for the reindeer, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen. Right, rain's lightning up now. And like, I really don't want to kill those scavengers because I don't know what subterranean is going to be like, but I don't want to be on bad terms. And killing four scavengers is going to nuke my scavenger reputation. Which area did I like the least? Oh, um... Honestly, still probably Shaded. I did not like Shaded at all. We're dead. We're dead. We're probably dead. Maybe not. Get out of it, please. Get out of it, please! I want to kill this thing, but I need to reobtain my singularity bomb. Egg. Please come back, my West Vulture. Yes. Alright, we need to get in a situation. I think that'll do it. If we line this up. Fuck, it missed again. Damn it. I need this thing dead, though. Especially because now we're out of food. Fuck. Best I can hope for is maybe the worm grass killing it, but if worm grass kills, it's gonna eat it. No, I mean, the only thing that was a mistake about Sky Island was trying to get out of Sky Island. Sky Island was not bad until we tried to leave. The farmer was. I see what keeps happening. I see the reason I keep dying. It's because I keep grabbing the ledges accidentally. And once you grab them, like, you can't let go. Because the worm grass doesn't let you fall down for some reason. No, I have a pearl in my stomach. I don't have a stomach bomb. I keep trying to eat this cookie. It's so hard to eat. I don't know, it could be a Rubicon-like situation, Dark Mode Enjoyer. I don't know, we'll find out when we get there. I just have to go through Rubicon as in. Please die. Thank you. I swear to God, if that worm grass eats it, the worm grass is going to eat it. The worm grass is going to eat it. We have to go eat it now. Can the worm grass eat a vulture? Maybe it can't eat a vulture. We got to go try to eat it now, though. We need that food.
Is that all the food we get? I thought we got more. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's all the food we're going to get out of that one, at least. Gone now. Hopefully, it'll be enough if we... We don't need to catch that many bat flies. Well, certain areas of Rubicon. I mean, I'm sure the entire thing wouldn't be possible, but... I would think like a Rubicon type thing of... Dear God, why can't you eat a Myros Vulture? Wormgrass doesn't give a fuck. God, I really want to pop that beehive. Please. There we go. Is it not pop? Jesus. Wormgrass is the ultimate life form. Okay. Two bat flies. Something danger? What's danger? Vulture. I need this bat fly. Genuinely considering throwing my singularity bomb over there. You know, the mechanic of farm is that there are uh, worm grass everywhere. Is there any way for me to get these fucking things down? Your snack. Walk up, I do a back 
backflip, I suppose, yeah. No, they can get grasped, but it's very difficult for them to get grasped. Trying to spear the bat flies. One bat fly. Come on. Get. Get. Got him. I think I'm just gonna... What?! It ate the egg! It's officially stronger than I am. I'm not fucking with that thing. It ate a black hole. I just got parried. Oh no, we need to go in there. Fuck. I thought we were climbing in. I think this is the last room. Please stop giving me spears. Did that hit it? Surely that one hit it. Can't I move? Okay. We may need another spore puff. Those weren't good clean hits. Looks as though it may be retreating. It should be a clean hit. Did that hit it? Fuck. It looks as though it may be dead.
Okay. Reverse food pyramid. The top of the food chain is the monster kelp. Everything else is underneath it. Okay. Um. So you want to go down? Room to the right, left. There's one reindeer section we got to get past. That's a wet shelter. Uh, Aries, please speak in English. Well, I consider the food chain to be a suggestion. Hit it, right? I can't even tell. I'm gonna drop the egg here. Hey, yo, don't steal my centipede. Bro, I got to steal my centipede. Okay. Although, who would win in a fight? Wormgrass or Monster Kelp? That's the question. Wormgrass, you think? I'm thinking about whether we ditch the Singularity Bomb to take a second Spore Puff. Monster Kelp can't grab the grass. Can the grass grab the Monster Kelp? Bat fight. Fuck. Uh, where did where did things go? They fell down here. Where did things go? Do you guys see things? I don't. There's a second spore puff. I don't know where that egg went. Let's just hunt bat flies. We hunt bat flies, we don't need to worry about egg. Gotcha! No, wait, fuck, I didn't get him. No, I know the egg respawns every time I save in a shelter, but the egg that I was carrying with me disappeared. It fell in the water somewhere. Can I bomb the worm grass? Worm grass is not killable. If violence was the answer, the solution would have been found. Are bat flies just scared? Is that how this works? I have to like go away for a bit and maybe they'll... Come back.
Ek bak. And a noodle fly. Noodle fly is a bit scary though, because good food source have to deal with noodle fly mother, and potentially having to deal with that on a reindeer is not a appealing thought. So, somebody had mentioned this before. Is there a new mechanic with attracting reindeer, aside from just throwing the spore puff? I'm fine with being told that here. Because that's not something I feel like I'm going to try to discover organically. I see the egg bug died here. Yeah. It was a very sad day. The creature would be the worst to encounter IRL? Coalacipedes. You can move their antlers, but it doesn't have to do with attracting them. It has to do with just... Attracting them is still the same. What the fuck? It bounced off of the... Been here for the past six hours. Please let me. I don't know. Get back. Please. Yeah, be a good boy. No, no, no. Come on, it's fine. It's fine. Alright, I see. I see it being mildly annoying, but... I have an idea of how I could do this. Game over, gamer. Why do I keep dropping? I keep like stumbling on the ground there. Yeah, I was thinking about doing that. Thank you. They're talking about this difficulty, Clinton. I really cannot catch a break with these worm grass, huh? Seems a bit annoying, yeah.
I haven't seen anything about it so far that seems particularly bad, but I'm sure something will pop up sooner or later. Why do I keep failing to get in these holes? I've been doing it fine for a while. Myra's vultures? Yeah, it makes sense. I was figuring vultures might be an issue. Why did they add hurricane purple lizards? What do you mean hurricane? I think I may ditch the pearl I have in my stomach. Hoping this centipede goes away. Oh, okay. That's the mod they were from. And I want to grab those spore puffs in there. And right, I could go around. Seems to be part of the issue. There we go. Rest in peace, gamer. I picked pick the wrong ledge to fall on. Trying to be the first one to beat this. I don't know. I'm just playing the game. I don't think things do that much. Please drop it on the other side of me. I, I don't want to keep dragging it with me. Right, I'll just spit out the pearl and then put the thing in my chest. Attract it. No, eat the centipede, please. Is the centipede dead? Gotta be dead now. Uh, but now we have to... Oh. I don't know how to get past the centipede with the spore puffs. I think we may just restart here because that's a really awkward position for that to be in. Drop this down here. I dropped the centipede. Yep. Oh, how did I... How did we get turned around there? How did I get up there and he got down there? I keep, like, falling down, and then sometimes I get caught on those, and sometimes I don't. Mmm, spider, too. Just a wolf spider. Oh, I kind of 
deal with that though. Where am I? I am here. I don't want to be here. I'm going to die to the worm grass. I can't get out because the centipede's on top of me. Oh, you can die with a snack. Peaks, gamer. here or just somewhere I can eat it without having these issues. Maybe I did. Oh well, it's fine. There's a path down there. Where's that path lead? I didn't throw it down. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. You know. I don't recognize that path. The egg get dissolved in water? No, it doesn't. Is this not a path? I guess it's not a path, because it's only like I can get down there. Goodbye, gamer. Maybe the worm grass were just blocking me off, but looks like I would have been able to get down there. Yeah, there's worm grass under the water. Yeah, there's just one grass after the blue thing. Where the egg keeps going. Did you miss out on much? No, not much. Like it's going somewhere. I don't know where though. I've seen the baby nearby. Baby spawns so phantom. Eats hand. As far as I can tell. Or semi-random. 
Just because it's in one spot at one time doesn't mean it's always going to be there. Where egg? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, there's the egg. I see it. I ate the egg now. Hmm. Those bat flies want to come out? Hey, Kenny. There we go. Let's try this again. It genuinely, that's when they come to them. Egg bug? Did it die in the last room? I didn't see it. Successfully mounted the reindeer. We're off on an adventure. Okay. Yeah. I understand the issue. However, we are done now. Fuck! Damn, it was in the water. Okay. Seems pretty RNG heavy. Gamer. If I got back to that point, though, that seems completely doable. I just have to know where to jump. I jumped in the one spot I couldn't jump, but anywhere else I would have jumped, I would have been fine. Birds attack when it's raining? Yes. Still long turn there. 
Uh, I think Vultures being able to be in rain deer sections is a downpour addition. Yeah, it's just straight RNG, Dylan. Flee to your shelter. How can it happen in the base game? I thought I remembered seeing something about being down for though. True rain world gaming experience. I'm more annoyed about having to wait so long to actually get started than I am the section itself. I was thinking about that eat sand, bringing the egg bug or something if we can find one. But I think more than likely the grass would just eat it instantly. You should lock every collectible in front of ways. Nice. Batfly should be coming out soon. Batflies? Hello, bat flies. There we go. I wonder if they're waiting for me to move off that section. Come on, reindeer. So good, reindeer. I wonder if there's a scripted... I 
Uh, oh, he's got bigger antlers than us. I think. Maybe not? Which one of you has bigger antlers? Oh, we have bigger... Oh, I guess we just passed each other. Okay. Ah, I see it's red worm grass down there. Alright, uh... Let's see, going past this room... I was straight up there, shelter was where the shelter is. We gotta get past this room, though. Right. Let's see. I don't see anything in this room. There's a scavenger, but we're on good terms with scavengers. Fuck. We might be dead. Night, yeah, we're done. Gamer. Alright, I didn't know that happened. I didn't know that worm grass was too strong down there. But that's fine. We can go through that again. We just have to make sure we, I guess, uh, go up the ropes? Because I don't think we can go down the, the water path there. I saw the worm grass, but I thought I could move through it fast enough. Maybe bring a spear? I don't know. We'll see. Hey, dumb person. I don't know, I have not really found this area to be particularly bad, either of the times that we did it. I mean... Both times it seemed like... I mean, the only reason I died the first time was because of the, uh... Alright, hello. Be a good arthropod. Hey, there we go. Alright, that'll save us from having to... Oh, come on, it retreated to its den? I don't... we gotta be sad. Uh, there's a red grass in the water ruffles. Which we could probably jump past, but yeah. I thought it was blue grass in the water which you can get past, but getting past red grass is pretty tough. actually die. Can I grab it? There we go. Right, I see that red spider. Or that. It's not a red spider. It's just a spider. Find a spear though. Yeah, I was concerned at first that there wouldn't be reindeer or something in the, um, in this version of the game, so. Uh, it's better than I was expecting. We gotta wait for the rain again. Wouldn't no rain do make it literally impossible? It would make certain sections of this map not possible to traverse. It would mean you'd have to find an alternative route. And potentially not be able to go through certain parts of farmways or reach certain areas connected to farmways through farmways. You'd have to take another one. Well, you could sit here and wait a bunch. I can't passage to that shelter, right? I have to, like, enter the room or rest at it to be able to passage to it. Because I see it revealed on the map, but I don't think it's actually, like, revealed, revealed. 
Is tubes connect to subterranean? Yeah. Oh! Come on, give me a snack. Give me a snack, Wongbass. Pop that egg bug. Yeah, there we go. We don't have to worry about bat flies anymore. Isn't it with an O? Love egg bugs. Alright. There's a spear there. We could potentially, uh... Got an idea. Which is... Hello? Hello, Myos Vulture. Maybe we don't do that. Maybe we do. We got a sec. You've never thought of something more horrifying than worm grass underwater. Spooky thought, yeah. Hello, Mr. Reindeer. Would you like to get over here? I would appreciate it. Thank you, Mr. Reindeer. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. You want to take me for a ride now? Maybe, maybe over here? That's a good boy. Thank you. Oh, come on. Yeah, come out of the grass. It's alright. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. Yeah, there we go. That's a good boy. There we go. There's a vulture coming. He is wounded. So is the vulture. Ah, oh, there's a second one. Bit of a struggle. We just gotta get past that grass there, though. Ah, we're probably dead. Oh! Hello! I appreciate you. I appreciate you, reindeer. I appreciate you. I just got there, right? Oh wait, that was the wrong direction. Okay, there we go. Oh god. Sorry for six hour guy. Yeah, reindeer just fucking flings me across the worm grass. What a what a Chad reindeer. This is what you get for respecting reindeer. Alright? You're gentle with them, you're patient, you're nice to them, you call them good boys. Okay, uh we got a passage to get our home back. And then it is just... Oh wait, no, 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 we don't want to pass it yet. There's another shelter we gotta hit. There is one more reindeer. Spot we have to pass through. Uh, we gotta get rid of this child, but... For the time being, I'll go ahead and carry him around. Okay, let's get this bomb back in our stomach. 
Oh, hello. Oh, we don't want to be in the water here. Or maybe we do. We get some bubble food. Good source of food. Hello, child in grass. The problem is child's gonna fucking blow up. I don't want to be anywhere nearby when that happens. Lado grass is probably a better choice for that. Where's that kid? He's a child. Uh huh. This looks a little tricky getting these spore puffs. Some pretty big uh big grass. Peace. Yeah, that, that's what happens when the child dies. Ah, oh, it's gonna be a little tricky. I mean, we'll have more opportunities to grab spore puffs later. I don't really like grabbing spore puffs in that room. Yeah, it's the Easter eggs like that. Kind of a rough room for it. But the thing is, we may have a better... We can maybe utilize the child's services better later. There may be a predator that we could use the child to distract or something. You know, let's say we're riding on a reindeer and there's a Myros Vulture. Throw the child, distract the Myros Vulture. Fuck my egg. Night lore. Okay, it's not a terribly far run, but it's gonna be real tough doing this if we can't get uh, a spore buff, so I'm hoping. Is that a. Okay. That is a spitter spider. We know the way, layout of the room better, better. I don't want to deal with carrying around the child. Because why was you got to feed the child and shit? I mean, one child's not a problem. We can carry this child. Oh, you can swim through that. You just have to be fast about it. It's when you get, like... Two children, that's an issue, because then you got to use your hand on the child. Where did those centipedes go? I see it on the map. There it is. Hey, get back here. Go get this another shot. We do need food. Let's. You know what? Let me pick back up this spear. There we go. I want to make sure the spear is in a correct hand to throw in case we encounter a spitter spider in one of these tunnels. This room's normally crawling with orange lizards, I think. Uh, this worm grass looks shorter, so let's go in this room. Hello? Oh, wait. No, no, no. We have to go in that room. Right. Okay. There we go. That's not too bad. Uh, I'm not seeing any spider. Sp oh, there's a spider spider up there. I see him. Oh, he's trying to sneak around. He's trying to hide. I see you. Okay. We speared him. He's not going to be dead from one spear, though. I don't know if we'll be able to, uh... we get another spear, maybe? A spear's still in him, so we could... If we get towards him... Okay. 
That should be enough spirit foes. No! Sp no, my meal! Oh, hold on. I don't think he's getting eaten by worm grass down there. I think we could, uh... I don't know. Put child back in my head. I think if we... Fuck. We gotta... He's not still alive, is he? Fuck! Worm grass stole him. Damn. I was looking forward to that meal. I was kind of hungry. Alright, what other food options have we got? Mmm, looking like slim pickings right now. That was a lot of scavs over there. Hmm. Oh, hang on. There appears... Hmm. But I can't eat that spit of spider. The scab. Uh. I don't know. Maybe we do. Where's the damn spit of uh, worm grass is stealing everything? have an idea that would get us a snack. Maybe eat at the end? I don't know if we'll have that option. Hang on, is this spider spider down here dead? It is dead. Okay. I'm concerned now because I don't know if the child is about to die. And I'm scared to go towards it. Child has too much self-preservation. may need to kill these scavengers. Oh, no, we got centipedes. Okay. This is probably enough food. Yes, it is. Good. Hello. Hello? What? Just have to... Check map. What happened? Red centipede pushed us out of bounds? It looks like... Oh, wait! Scavenger seems to have freed us. That red centipede... Did you see that fucking red centipede? Okay, hold on. We threw a thing to attract reindeer. That scavenger saved me somehow. I don't know what it did exactly. But it saved me. I threw the thing to attract the reindeer. I heard the reindeer sound. 
But it doesn't look like they're coming. Man, these scavengers. I am so glad I didn't kill them. Okay. Alright, place your bets. How long is it going to take? Oh! We got a good boy coming. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. The pipes in the background look like creepy faces. They kind of do, yeah. This one's mostly underground, so the odds of having to deal with a vulture are pretty low. Who's a good boy? What a good reindeer. We're gonna have to get rid of this child, though. Unless there's three food here, we can feed it. Oh, no, there are gooey ducks. Okay. What a good boy. We just gotta get past this room. Yeah. Is one of these gonna be a pole plant? No, it's real. A pole mimic. Oh. We can't make that jump. Huh. Maybe we do a long jump here. Yep. Okay. And... Go ahead and feed the child. Child, eat your food. Come on. Okay. We're gonna have to use our, um, passage here. Are we being a good parent? We might be able to carry this thing through to the end. I mean, if it's only the one child, and we got gooey ducks and stuff to feed it with. You 
have a dog shit RNG with promo waves. I imagine it could be rough. I mean, I know vanilla reindeer and vultures. It could be awful. I'm glad we got out of that without too much trouble. This one. Wait, does the child lay an egg too? I didn't remember that, but we have two eggs. Three quarters of it has been farm God Goddamn. Alright, so subterranean. It's like the first room. Yeah, yeah, first room, we fall down to the right. That's where the echo is. Ah, I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Subterranean's gonna be pitch black. Oh, wait, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it darkens over time in rooms the longer you, sp you spend there. Seems like it darkens over time. What's in my stomach? I think a pearl is in my stomach. Oh, wait, no. A third egg. A third egg is in my stomach. Okay, we are egged the fuck out right now. Is it... Has it stopped raining? Okay. Okay. No, it darkens over time. It becomes pitch black. Upon entering a room several seconds in, the screen goes pitch black. Okay. This is why I wanted to bring the pearl. There's a scavenger merchant not too far into subterranean. We may also be able to trade these eggs, because they probably value these pretty highly. I don't want to risk falling down there. Hey, well, if it has the same value as a Singularity Bomb, that's got to be pretty high value. Turn my Gamma all the way up like a true gamer. What I'm concerned about is potentially falling down here and then, um... Dying to rain, because it increases your gravity. It makes you fall harder, and just cratering to fall damage. Or there being, like, worm grass or something down there. Smaller and less stable rarefaction cells. That makes sense, because the rarefaction cells, if you, like, get fucked up by a leviathan while you're carrying a rarefaction cell, it does the same gravity explosion. I remember that. That's where I remember the explosion from, is because we had died once to a Leviathan with the rarefaction cell and it had that explosion. Where are we going? The depths. Subterranean. I mean, I guess immediately the answer is, uh, the last echo here in Subterranean, but... Alright, fuck it. We'll just go. Oh. oh boy. It is gonna be getting dark in here. A little beast. The child? But not as dim as the rest. Th thanks? So down into the depths you go as many others before you draw into the void again and again an endless trip, trip, trip. Oh, you want to drill straight through me? I'm down to get drilled. Okay. I 
I think I see the play. I think I see the play. We take child. We go to that room where the echo was, because there were a ton of gooey ducks in there. Please, child, get on my head. And then we use the child to harvest the gooey ducks, and then eat those, and then we go down to the shelter. Just to make sure we don't get stuck in this one. I think Law says, isn't it like, it's somewhere with like Spearmaster and Before Hunter. Like Before Hunter, but then there's like something where it's also like, got some, something to do with Spearmaster changes, I don't fucking remember. Oh god, getting out of here is gonna be a pain. Okay, child? I would like you to harvest these gooey ducks for me. Child? The gooey duck's child. The gooey duck's child. There we go. Child! Child! Child, the gooey duck. What's a gooey duck? These things. I don't think that's a good play, DJ. I'm not too sure how to get those. We have to throw straight up, yeah? But it didn't even do it. Hang on, I have an idea. At this point, we are not hoarding for eggs. So maybe that'll lock down the gooey ducks. Clinton, why would... You don't have to... Spoiler, I didn't know that. I didn't know that's what that did. Kind of defeats- I was gonna like have a stream where like I tried to figure out what doing Gourmet's food quest did. I guess it's kind of- kind of ruined now. Like maybe to hit it a certain amount of times. Yeah, this campaign just gives you a child. The child is also a bomb. It doesn't look like you can just hit gooey ducks down. I don't know. Well, if we can kill the child, it's a source of food. In a pinch.
Wait, if you, when you say 24 hours, has that been like 24 hours straight? Jesus. That is some dedication. I wish that popcorn plant was here. I mean, I don't really care that much about doing it first. I mean, like, when I did... Like, I don't know, Hardcore get Fixed Boy in Terraria, I didn't care that much about being the first one to do it. And I was the first one to do it, and that was cool and all, but like... Okay. There we go. I don't know how I feel like going back to that room. That was kind of a... kind of a mess getting out of there. <gasps> Oh boy. Okay, we got worm grass. Is that a mother spider? Oh fuck. Yeah, that might also be part of why it's been so rough going. Um, it's just playing for that long straight. I mean, that's that that takes a toll out of you with how well you can play. We have six food of gooey ducks. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're actually very close to being fed, and it's really not far to the shelter. Or does the screen get darker? It's not the gimmick of the character; it's the gimmick of this area. Little three echoes in this play session. Nice. That is a mother spider. And if lantern could help? I imagine it would. We would, however, need to get a lantern, which we do not currently have. Oh, fuck. I was afraid of that one. Oh, come on. Can I not go through that worm grass section? Damn. Rest in peace, okay. gamer. I didn't have a bomb in my hand is the problem. Um, I have a... An idea. That's... Okay. That's red worm grass? Hmm. It's gonna be awkward getting through that room. It's not much further between that and the shelter. On the right side. For the passage, potentially. I might try that, because I think there were some centipedes there. There is also the left path. There is also this room up here, which I think is a scavenger room. Take left, left is safer. Pop him before I enter the gate. Yeah, if we die again, we'll, we'll check how it goes. Alright. I have an idea. A better idea this time. Maybe it's not a better idea. I don't know. Let's just see what that does. Okay. It got us a few gooey ducks.
Does not scavenge have shelter and popcorn? Is there a shelter up there? Okay, in that case, I think next time we go up. That one, I think, is a new room in Down 4, right? I don't think that's in the base game. I'm not super familiar with it, but... If it's got shelter and a... Uh, popcorn plant, then yeah, we'll go up there. But obviously, we can't do that now, because we can't go back up. Oh, whoops. Uh, can we just, like, dive over here? Some worm grass, but that should be fine. Home of flower. That's a welcome sight. Red something. Probably centipede. Yeah. But red centipedes are not an issue. As long as we can... Gravity them. Okay. Red centipede is what I like to call a snack. Let's see if we can... I don't know if I can get the child to eat a centipede. <clears throat> Probably not sure. Oh, there's a gooey duck. We can I'll try to leave that. We are no longer at risk of locking due to lack of karma. Okay. So we want to head straight right. I'm looking at the map now. Um... This is where we are. It's right here. I think if we keep going left, that's where Outer Expanse is. But, we don't want to fuck with that. Um, we need to get down here, and ideally we want to bring a light source. Because it is gonna be dark as fuck. So if we get to take a pit stop to this scavenger merchant right here. Might be a bit tough, but we could probably pick up a lantern there, and maybe pick up and hit up that shelter down there. That or we just find scavengers on the go. Both of them are an option. Yeah, we just head right for now. Beeline to drainage. Uh... But what does beelining to drainage get us? Unless you mean filtration. Did you mean filtration? Okay. I can understand filtration. Does filtration glow? I'm not sure if it's going to maintain the same thing in this version of the game. That usual ambient red light. So to beeline to filtration, well, I think we kind of have to take the same path, though, right? Because I can't bridge this gap. 
I have finished Gourmand's storyline. I have not finished Gourmand's food tracker. Let's me ignore food. This is true, but I don't think food's going to be a trouble. We'll see. We'll start going, because I think it's the same path. Right? I think I have to go from here to get to that room. I think that's the only entrance there. And that's going to take us by the scavenger merchant or shelter. And we'll see what kind of state we're in. And if not, we could always... No idea, human KK. Nor are we going to try. Perhaps if we're able to continue playing the character after this, maybe we'll try. But I don't think it lays an egg. We think we just got an extra egg that time for some reason. I will, however, check and see if there's any snacks over here. Hello, that is a snack. That is also... That one is not a snack. But he's getting a snack, and I can respect that. I can respect the snack hustle. It's, you know, it's not actually that dark here. At least in this room. Like, I can still kind of make out what's going on. It's not as bad as, like, show, oh, damn. As, like, shaded. Where's the hole? There's the hole. Oh. Centipede snack? It's not canon. It does have a place on a timeline. I should hit both of them. Compared to Shaded, this is like the sun. Are we ending yet? We are going to the ending. That is the destination of where we are now. We are in the depths. We have Max Karma. We are not yet there, but we're getting there. First, we need to get past these centipedes. I can never escape the centipede hole, no matter how hard I try. Oh, oh god, red lizard, please don't eat my child. That's gonna kill me. Please eat the centipede. The centipede. Goodbye, gamer. Okay. Take two. These giant ass centipede snacks in front of you, red lizard. You don't want any of them? We'll just go this way. Because if there are two red centipedes I can eat here, I don't have to worry about food. Red lizard on a diet. These centipedes may be clipping through the ground. They are. That's fine. We can just... Oh, we seem to have lost the child. Okay, child, get back on my back. Thank you. Okay. We may have trouble getting past this centipede here. I'm not gonna lie. Because he's clipping through the ground. Oh, hold on. This is the crank goes.
We have escaped Mr. Centipede's wild ride. Fuck. We are now on Red Spider's wild ride. Um. What is down here? I just want to find out. Up can defend me, maybe? Potentially. But then again, we might be able to just like, have on it. Come down here, bitch. Hey, get down here. Get down here. What did I miss? Follow up. Okay. Wait, is that red lizard not dead? Child, please. Child. 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 Yes. Child. No. Child. 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 Spirit. Child. Child. Child, please. Child. Game over. God, what a dumbass. Gamer. Disown the child. Look, it's a strategic investment. The ownership of this child. So I noticed you're able to play as Slugcat pups in multiplayer. Is that a visual thing, or is that and I can actually like? Does that change? I didn't kill both centipedes. One of the centipedes is still alive. We may be in trouble here. If we can't get past centipede here. Oh, we gotta get past this centipede. Please. Please get past the centipede. Does change your physics. Are other players able to grab you? Yes? Sound like it could be fun. But I don't mind escorting one child. It's when you get two children that it becomes a trouble. Slug pups are not... Oh. Red lids would feel a little bit spicy. Okay, I'm hoping that the scent of... Child? Goodbye, gamer. Damn. I was hoping the red lids and centipede would distract each other. Still waiting on the Wayne Wolf multiplayer? Well, I started doing this. I'm not going to stop doing this. But I do plan to try it at some point. I'm also thinking about doing Dance Pad Wayne World. Probably just like Survivor. Or maybe even Multiplayer. Don't bring that up, Shark Tales, because then somebody's going to be tempted to do it. What I say about talking about the ending, Shark Tales? It's right in the pinned message. You get a timeout. I wouldn't mind some potatoes. No talking about the ending, period. Oh, god damn it. That's gonna be annoying. How did that... And this centipede's not even dead? I think we just...
we didn't actually die there, but the bug happened, and then I wouldn't be able to look at the map when that bug is happening, and that's annoying as fuck, because we need to look at the map for this. Karma status? We don't need karma. What kind of salt do I use to- are you asking me or are you asking the person making the potatoes? I don't know if I'll be able to get past these guys. Because I can't move them. Oh, hold on. We're making progress. We're sliding further into the centipede hole. Are we making progress? Probably Himalayan because it's pink and it looks cool. If I grab a corpse, I clip through it. The problem is there are two corpses and the centipede corpses are so fucking heavy. Only grabbing the post corpse is the problem. I got the child out. Okay, there we go. Okay. I am with child. Depending on how child behaves, I will consider feeding them. We'll see, Delta Fuck. We'll see. This is something of a problem. Game over. Damn. Game. I was hoping to make distracted with the eel lizard. Okay, we have to take the bottom path there. We can't, uh... Well, like I said, karma doesn't matter. Dying doesn't matter, because we just... have to make it to... depths. The child runs, he leaves his father in a sense. Hey, who said we were father slug cat? Maybe we were maybe, maybe we're mommy slug cat. Maybe we got mommy milkers. I don't. I, I'm not saying we do. I'm just I'm just bringing it up as a possibility. I'm not saying that that's the answer to the question that we're all asking. Okay, we gotta restart here. I am male. We don't know. We don't know. 
You were mailing that. End message. That is a ban. Are we lay eggs? This enemy's in an awkward position. Fuck! We were too close. Goodbye, I thought we were far enough. Gamer. Back to Elden Ring after a few months. Anybody got any tips? Um. Not really. I mean. When you say getting back into it, how far into it were you in the first place? Like, how experienced were you with the game? Ah, the janky tunnel collisions. How hard is it to explode a slug cat? Not very. Consider the situation a bit. We're probably dead here. Okay, I just this is such a clusterfuck. No, I mean, plenty of people increase their vigor, but with pretty much all of the other Soulsborne games, leveling vigor is more or less a crutch. However, Elden Ring has some interesting balance decisions. Uh, to the point that it's... Metas for the previous Souls games are not quite true, but old habits die hard. Um, so I think the only two confirmed flavors, Hunter is 100% strawberry, and this cat is 100% blueberry. Um, Good night. however, um, there's, there's, it's debatable for the other ones, right? Artificer is potentially a raspberry, could be a cranberry flavor. Um, both of those are reasonable options. Um... Amanda's cauliflower. What would Rivulet be? Uh, I don't know, blue raspberry? What do you mean confirmed flavor? I mean, I tasted them. I ate them. Oh, Spear Master is grape. Oh, 
Hold on. No, 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 no. No, you, you. Rivulet is too bright of a color for a blueberry. That's what you guys are, are misunderstanding. Blueberries are not a bright blue color, right? They are a dark blue color. Rivulet is way too light of a blue to be a blueberry. That's not what a blueberry looks like. Blueberries are dark. They're a dark blue. That is way closer to this slug cat's color. What order to go see Echoes as Hunter? Are you going all objectives? As in like bringing the Neuron Fly to Moon? Or are you just trying to ascend? Revula could be Blue Tomato. I am not familiar with blue tomatoes. Fuck, I didn't pick up the spear. I thought I picked up the spear that was lodged in him. Over, gamer. It's really is just Shaded Citadel 2.0. Reveal is bubblegum flavor? Uh, did I get an answer about whether you're going all objectives or just trying to ascend? If you're going all objectives, I would recommend... So you've got two main options. Okay. You can either go Fomaways, Outskirts, Industrial Complex, um, Chimney Canopy, Wall, hit five pebbles, then probably head back to Industrial, go through Garbage Waste, Shoreline, give Moon that, and then from Shoreline, head to Subterranean, and then go Ascend. And Pebbles will count as an Echo and raise you back for the fourth. Or you can go uh, from Farmaways to Sky Islands, Chimney Canopy, um, Wall, Five Pebbles, and then do the same thing. Um, if you go the outskirts route through Farmaways, you will have to deal with a Scavenger Troll. I think two Scavenger Trolls, actually. You do spawn with a Pearl. Um... And you'll probably want to work on raising your scavenger reputation if you take that route. If you go the Sky Islands route, you're going to have to do all the platforming in Sky Islands, which can be pretty tough to get down without dying as Hunter, in my experience. I'm not great with the platforming there. Um, the Sky Islands route is faster. If you like darkness, you go Industrial Shaded Shoreline. Uh, I would not recommend going to Shaded as Hunter. When I did Hunter, I took the outskirts route, because I didn't want to go to Sky Islands very much. Uh, but both of those routes uh, will work. Um, yeah, I don't go to sh hunt Shaded as Hunter. <laughs> uh, take the back route to Pebbles if you're going to go to Pebbles. Um... There are also the new downpour areas. I'm not sure how those factor into things. Um, I don't know, like, where Pipe Yard would fit in, if you could potentially put that in. 
Just go industrial shaded memory leg, unfortunate development, then go back to shoreline. Worst hunt leg. <laughs> Challenge to make the worst hunter route possible. Is unfortunate development even a thing in hunter? Do you have a survivor route? Well, it's very different for Hunter. Yeah, I don't think unfortunate development happens yet until later in the timeline. I'm really struggling to get past these centipedes here. Okay, I yeeted the child. Okay. No, okay. We came back. Um... Personally, I prefer prefer the uh, uh, outskirts path. I kind of just like that path. Um, but I don't think it's the easier path. It's just the one that I happen to be partial to. The only thing that really sucks about taking the, um... Worst areas hunter is the leg. It makes sense. I think we should just go back to the shelter and restart. I don't want to fucking deal with this right now. Maybe we just wait for a minute. Eat some centipedes or something. I guess you could go subterranean, too. That's a hell of a hunter starting route. Red spiders in the leg? Oh god, I remember those in Artificer. Because I'd gone through the leg in my first Artificer route. That was a mistake. The train's good for shoreline. I guess, yeah. Okay, please get in the hole. You went wall? Yeah, wall is way better. It's just I happened to end up there because I had gone through... Because Artificer's starting area connects to Shaded, and like I was in Shaded, and I was like, oh, I guess I may as well go to... Uh... Go to wall and see Pebble. Oh, sorry, go to leg and see Pebbles. That was an awful decision. Yeah, two echoes and a quick way to shoreline if you go to subterranean. Yeah, I mean, if you want to see the route that I took, you go watch the stream when I beat Hunter a few months ago. I went pretty smoothly. I only died a couple times. Uh, but that was the uh, outskirts path. The Sky Islands path. Uh, I It's mostly that I wasn't as familiar with Sky Islands, and I was very familiar with outskirts. Artificer is a very fast campaign if you just go straight Pebbles and Metropolis. Right, how are things looking? Okay. God. Uh oh. We might be dead here. Okay. That was such convenient timing. God damn. There's an explosive down there, but that's going to be tricky as fuck to get. I have no idea what is down that path there. 
I have a suspicion it may connect back to like my favorite downpour campaign. Do you mean like story wise, gameplay wise? Um, story wise, I thought Rivulets was very sweet. Um, I thought that was a nice campaign. Uh, it kind of looks like that might connect to the Scavenger Merchant. Which is kind of where we want to go, because that... Like, spatially on the map, that's where I would... Damn, but it's so difficult to get there. There might be a shelter down there. Well, we just came from a shelter. We don't need another shelter. But, like, to get there, we have to go all the way to the right there and then crawl left with all these red lizards. That's going to be such a clusterfuck to try. On the right side, red lizards are killing the spitter spiders, which is what I was hoping for. Seems to be some source of ambient light here. We have to come back this way anyway. Pipeline can be accessed from industrial. Yes, Pipeyard connects to industrial. Which is why I was saying I don't know how Pipeyard plays into things. Because Pipeyard connects to shoreline and subterranean, right? And Sky Islands. I hear centipede. I do not see centipede. I do not like this. Definitely a red. It's below me. Damn. Where are we going now? To beat the game. Deaths. I don't know what that is, Zen. I have not encountered one. I have heard vague reference to them. I have never seen that in any of the campaigns. So right now, we're right here. There is a centipede directly below me in this room here. I think strongest play is going to be jumping down here, hitting this shelter. So we don't have to go through that red lizard clusterfuck room again. However, with the child in its current state. Oh, there was a Myros vulture there. Why the fuck? And from that shelter, it might be a reasonable. Why the fuck can a Myros vulture? Throw the child down. No, right now we have a strategic child reserve. I try to rush that shelter, but we have to go to that shelter, right? Because that's on the path to filtration. Unless I'm misunderstanding this map. Oh, wait, no, 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 wait, we can go up there. Okay, hold on. We can go up there and then hit the filtration shelter. That's a better route. I didn't see that path that connected there. But if we can hit that... Then we can go up and then hit the filtration shelter. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what we'll go for. Reminds me of when I played Factorio, I had a strategic lube reserve. Oh. Eh. Did th that centipede is clipping through the... Okay, but if the centipede is there, that means... It That Myros Vulture is still here. Holy fuck. I cannot think of a better use of the bomb than that.
If ever there was a tactical nuke incoming moment. Oh god, this red centipede. Okay. Take the child! No, take the child! The child! Please, the child! Quiet. The centipede. That one. May go kill the child. Now we're Goodbye, gamer. Damn. Okay. That's not terribly far to the next shelter, though. The child outliving me? The things don't seem to want to attack the child. Give the child a spear? The problem is if I give the child a spear, it's going to be running around without me. And then it's just going to be a walking... Motor Where is the hole? There we go. God, this is harder than sex. Yeah, I'm trying to utilize the strategic child reserve. Right, let's see if we can attract this centipede. You hear that? Come on, you hear that? That spitter spider is attacking the red centipede. That spitter spider has... Bravest spitter spider I've ever seen. It drove away the red centipede. Actual god gamer. Spider Spider asserts dominance. I think we just wait for these things to fight each other a bunch. Because if you remember, last time we came through here, we didn't have to deal with anything because we waited long enough that the red lizards, like, all killed each other and killed the Spider Spiders too. So if we wait long enough, the problem will probably solve itself. Oh, we got this bug again. I still haven't figured out why this happens. Stops us from seeing the map and our food, but worm grass or spitter spider, worm grass wins. Easily. We saw that matchup play time play out a couple times. This happened this is a bug, I think just with this character. I'm not positive. But yeah. Game breaks. If we press Oh, hold on. Spitter spider? Coming back to dominate the centipede. Oh fuck, oh the rematch! Oh shit! History does not repeat itself. See how you have randomized when you go to Shady, you can see tons of red centipedes there. Melly, if you- When you leave, uh... Memory Crypt's going to Shaded. The first room in Shaded you go to has like four red centipedes. I imagine it's a sort, similar sort of feeling. Oh, hang on, I got another one. Oh shit, oh fuck! Yeah, red centipedes have super good hearing. I can nuke both centipedes. Problem is if I throw it here, it's not going to go far enough because we're in a tunnel. We gotta bait the centipedes over here, which means we need to make noise.
You hear that? They heard that. Yeah, I'm thinking of rock. Oh, they heard that. Right, that should be enough. We got one of them. One may be enough. With some cleverness, we could probably... Alright. Here's the bug has died to children dying? Interesting. No centipede vision works. Um, yeah. In terms of, like, the cones? And movement-based? And how they see out of both heads, but... Use the dead child? Child isn't dead yet. Yeah. And also a very good hearing. I think we just reached out here. I don't know, maybe we can get past. Uh, and he grabbed us. Yeah, we're dead here. Goodbye, gamer. Okay. Such a nice time when you see spiders around a corner and you don't see where. Or you hear them around a corner. Yeah. Yeah, see a hornet. Okay. We'll just see how this... Entering here ASAP. To nuke both these guys the moment they spawn is the ideal play. We're gonna wait for both of them. One. I right, have one. Okay. And now, once these. Now that these centipedes are dead, we just sit back and wait. Eat a snack. And hope these spitter spiders and red spiders deal with themselves. Can we take the centipede back through here? Yeah, there we go. That makes this easier. The reason Child always lives because he has a color pattern of black and red, which every OP creature has. Spitter Spider doesn't give a fuck. Spitter Spider was chasing straight for that red centipede. They have no fear. You know how hard it was to get to the first shelter? Not really. You mean the first shelter? I mean, we didn't actually have that much trouble. Oh, there's a second child. Huh. We may be able to utilize this to our advantage. I need to go down that tunnel? Why? What is down that tunnel?
plane has stopped. There's a spear over there. It's the way to the depths. The way to the depths or a way to the depths? Don't you need X coma again to ascend? No, no, no. You don't need to have X coma. You just need to have your maximum coma, B10. Just because it's a way doesn't mean it's the way. Yeah. Because I'm assuming this is going to take us down to the scavenger merchant room. Which is just a roundabout path. I think the path we want to take to filtration system is the one we were going off to the right there. Well, I have the map open. I can see the other way. Oh, there's a combo refill at the entrance. Yeah. Um, the lighting seems to have fixed itself. Actually. There's a shelter at the pipe near me. But this the, sh the shelter we're at is right here. We don't have to... Like, I, I mean, I, I guess it might be, like, slightly closer, but we're, like, already at a shelter. Get a bomb back out. Okay, the lighting doesn't seem to be as bad. But this area down here is such a clusterfuck. Holy shit. Kind of insane Myros vultures can show up here, but I guess it makes sense. I'm hoping that'll go for the centipede, not me. The centipede, My Myros the, 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 cent the centipede. The centipede? We could also wait out a rain cycle for the centipedes to flee. Because it's like one, two, like three rooms. It's really not that far. These things can't fit in here, can it? Okay, looks like it's going for a centipede. like it won. I hope it doesn't just drop off that centipede up here with me. Myros vulture would never fit in. I've seen Myros vultures fit in some anus places. I have seen Myros vultures go through tunnels alive, not like being carried through.
I'm thinking of throwing the egg over there. And I think I will. Should make sure the path is clear. The hell is that? That's just a weird blue lizard? We shouldn't have thrown the thing, I guess. Please go for the child. The Strategic Child Reserve has been utilized. Fuck! Goodbye. See, you say a Myros Vulture can't fit in there. You say a Myros Vulture can't fit in these spots, and then it does. Okay, cheese. I don't care if you're making a joke. It says the pinned message. No talking about anything related to the ending. I don't care if you're making jokes. Bringing up the ending is a bannable offense. It's tough because the only way we can get down there is by making noise. And there's so many centipedes in that room. God damn. Just pull centipede back through here. Ah. Throw the child, wait 10 seconds, jump down. The problem is I don't know if the child's going to die doing that. No, no, no. The problem is... It's like setting an explosive. Y you know that thing where, like, people who work in demolition or something... The worst case scenario is an explosive that doesn't go off. Because then somebody has to go in and try to figure out why it didn't blow up. Which is a super risky and dangerous thing. It's like that. Oh shit, that scavenger has a light source. Hunt him down, we need that. It's gonna be super difficult to try to... Okay. You hate red spiders? Spitter spiders are pretty awful, yeah. Can't I just kill the spitter spiders? One at a time in situations where I can predict where they're coming from? Yes. Multiple of them potentially coming off screen? That's something I'd rather not fuck with. Especially because this character has very bad damage. It takes three spears to confidently kill a spitter spider. 
And spitter spiders don't retreat when they're wounded. Throwing a single spear should stun them for a time. Yes, but if they, in that time, tag me with a paralyzing poison, they're not going to run away after I stun them. I can do a maul, but I think a spear and a maul still isn't enough to kill them. I might be wrong on that one, but... If I can avoid them, I would rather not fuck with them. And I can't avoid them. The screen is lighting up. Yes, there seems to be some sort of ambient lighting in... Oh. Like, this is... No, no, no. It Delta Fog. That was because the rain ended. I think. The effect is still going on. It's just certain areas have ambient lighting that only shows up when the rain goes away. Please, child, save me with the spear. Child? I swear to fucking god, child. Child, where are you running? Child! Because that's the problem with spitter spiders. Is... Yeah, guess what? He got body blocked by another spitter spider when we tried to fight them. So we died. Because... The spitter spider's projectiles go through other spitter spiders more consistently than my spears and things do. That's why we're not fighting them. It's because there are too many of them and we can't consistently do that. child survives. I've had the child save me a couple times before in other playthroughs, just not this one. Um, are they both here? Yeah, they are. Where did I get the child from? Oh, he just kind of showed up. Like, that's it. He just, he just showed up. I don't even... I think it was the last shelter in Farmer Ways. He just kind of showed up. <clears throat> I'm talk about Artificer's backstory. I don't entirely know Artificer's backstory, so I would rather not. Do I know the child part? Not really, because the game just ended before we got to that part. Like, I know she had children, and then... But, like, the cutscene didn't actually play to the part... Where we found out what actually happened to them, because the game just ended. The dream show the backstory? I know, I'm not asking you to tell me the backstory. I'm just telling you that I don't know it. Get mauled, motherfucker. Get back here. Put child on head. Hello. Red lizard, you want to deal with that spitter spider? Thank you. Exactly, Zen, yeah. I had the issue with the, thing the game just ended. Yeah, that is the mall mechanic. Which kind of lets me turn debris into makeshift spears. In a pinch. Eat the food. Eat the food, child. Eat the food. What the fuck are you doing, ch child? I mean, if you know right where to go, or you happen to get there quickly, you can finish Artificer so quickly. Mauling does half the damage of a normal spear. That's about the damage of a regular spear with this character, it seems. I think spitter spiders have 1.1 health, and it takes, like, 2 to 3 spears. So our damage range for a spear is probably somewhere in like the 
0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7 range. Monk has a spear power of 0 0.9. But it's, it's, no, 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 what? Isn't Monk's Spear Power way lower than that? I thought Monk's Spear Power was, like, in the 0. 0.6, 0. 0.7 range. After the wiki said, I looked it up on the wiki, like, earlier today. I thought the average was, like, 0. 0.66. Monk spirit power is random point nine is the max. We can eat the child. Just bring that up. between point six and point nine. There was a spitter spider in combat here recently, which likely means there's a red centipede right over here. Give the child the egg? I don't think the child would use the egg. I might just wait out the rain cycle, honestly. takes out a creature with the egg. But it, I don't think, if I pick up the child, I think he drops the item he's carrying. Right? So I don't think I can throw him down with it. This guy has monk strength? Yeah. Okay, Red Lizard might be... What if I just rush? We tried that. I'm thinking of trying it again. I have an idea. Go further down? No, we don't want to go down here. We want to go up here, right? Because this is this room here. We go up, right? That's filtration shelter, filtration system in the shelter right there. To go down, we'd have to go down there, then all the way loop around there. Yeah, you say that, Delta Frog, and then sometimes he drops the food and insta-kills you with his bite.
Does Monster Cope retreat when the rain comes? We made it past anyway. Okay. Oh boy. This is a wait for rain moment right here. This is a wait for rain, rain moment. Because we're super close, we just head to the right there. And then... We're really not far at all. And it's almost raining, this is... Uh... Can we just crawl this bottom path, actually? Kinda looks like we can. Hello, Caramel Lizard. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. We're just gonna... We're just gonna walk down here. Okay. Red Lizard's infiltration. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we can just go straight to Void from here. Although... I don't know, I was gonna say we almost had Mother, but we need two cycles for Mother. I was kinda interested in seeing the Mother, uh... You about to go to work? Hmm. It's... It, it'll be a few minutes before... We're in a bit of a clusterfuck part, but I think we have a light source now. Yeah, we have a light source. Where is our egg? There's our egg. We have green egg and white egg. Goodbye. Oh! Gamer. I thought that red lizard had something in its mouth. I thought it had bit something. And was swallowing it, but I guess not. Fuck! No, I was eating my light. No. Okay. It was the tail. Yeah, I figured. Once it started biting me. Okay, there we go. Problem is, it's an edible light source, so. They saw blind lizards with red ones. I don't know if it's all of them. Because I saw the caramel lizard too, and there were some eel lizards around. But it's likely a lot of them. On the bites? Yeah, no, there's still blind lizards down there. You can see them. Yeah, the reds aren't... are pretty... active. Okay, I'm gonna look at the fucking map. I hate doing this, but god, I... I really want to make sure... So, bottom left side is where we want to be. Okay. I don't know if this will take me there directly, but we can do some wandering around. The red lizards will distract and fight the mole lizards, though, because mole lizards don't normally fight each other, right? But they'll get distracted by the reds. Oh, there's a dead mole lizard here.
Uh, okay, I see it. Okay. Okay. I see coalescipedes. I don't like that. But we have plenty of time. Fuck, how do I get up there? Do I need a spear? Do I need a spear? Fuck, we could have taken that path there. I see. I need a spear. I can go up the left side pipe. Path. Okay. They will probably lose interest eventually. Use the child to boost myself? Didn't hear me, did it? The gimmick infiltration doesn't look like there was one. Aside from just like red lizards being present. Speaking of red lizards... There's not a path here. There's not a path here. Here? This looks like a path. Okay. Why is there an eel lizard here? Oh, that eel lizard is fucking with a mother spider? No thank you. we hit the ground hard there? We might have. They've definitely hurt us. I will just sit in this corner and wait for an opportunity, yeah. I am glad 
these lizards are blind. I feel like I never know how to get through filtration. I envy child percent. I want these two mole lizards here. We're too close to use our bomb. We have no defenses. We will see what happens when we bring the child. Okay. I think our opportunity has presented itself. I'm trying to make baby jumps. Oh, I see what's going on here. Fight this place. Yeah. Okay. I'm remembering this room more and more now. We're dead. We're dead. We're 100% dead. Rest in yeah. peace, gamer. Okay, but we know how to get back now. Honestly, I think the bomb might be a mistake instead of a spear, but I will bring it. This is fine. This is not that bad to get through. Now this red lizard here could be a little bit tricky. Mostly because we don't know if he's here. He seems to know that we are here. Mother Spider. Okay, Mother Spider let go of us. Thank you, Mother Spider. I appreciate that. It looked like... Okay. There's a path I can take to just go straight there. Which is this one. Let me go down here. Here? And then we go here. Okay, and we just go straight right here. Let's retreat for a moment. Uh, no, for sense. Wait, do we go left, or do we want to go... I, I know going to the right will lead us to the left through the tunnels, but can we go there just straight left? Straight left, okay. No, I'm getting conflicting information. Let's just look at the map. The right path looks better to where we want to go. 
Yeah, when you're at the bottom, go left. Yeah, but that's not what I was asking. I know how to get there from the right, but I thought you guys were saying I could. Just go straight down. Don't I want to go right? Like off to the right there? And then go left? Because straight down's not going to get me anywhere. That's where we're going to get to go to last time, and we're just going to die. Because that's what we did last time. Look, I've been to filtration system before. What just fell there? Was that a mole lizard? Must have been a mole lizard. I feel like INV has double spawns. There have been a lot of enemies. Can you starve as this character, DJ? Is that a slug pup with me? Yes. We keep going down here, right? <gasps> that is gonna make a lot of noise. I told you guys I know how to get through this room. You guys didn't believe me. I'm waiting for the fucking Myros Vulture at the end. How do I know the ending? I don't know the ending. I'm saying I'm waiting for the game to just throw a Myros Vulture at me in one of these rooms. I, I am no longer going to read chat. I am taking chat off screen. Oh, this is this room. I don't. The way I feel most confident doing this is just grabbing a spear and then. Uh, I'm betting it into that wall. And there was a spear back here, so. Actually, hold on. Let me just put this bomb in my stomach. It'll save inventory space. Inventory space, man. <laughs>
I didn't embed this super well, but I should be able to get it. I think the goal in the depths is just to head left. What I remember. So far, depths is looking pretty normal. Statue boys in the background. Okay, I think we just go in there, right? Let me check the depths map real quick. Yeah, that's that room, and then we just keep heading left. Yeah. Having a light source. Nice for this room. So, one thing that may happen here, I'm not sure if it will, but I, will, I am accepting it as a possibility, is when I go down into the void sea or something, the child might just, like, die. <laughs> or, like, when, I, when the void worm kicks the stuff off of you. They seem fine with the child. Oh, maybe not. Okay. I guess no child. They took my light source, too. And the kid ate my light source. Jackass. Fuck that kid. He can go stove. He can go to hell. Okay, is this the room you can actually die in, right? Can't you fall to your death in this pit? Okay, we should be in the clear now. I was half expecting the child to die when they did that and kill me in the process. Uh... I really want to egg the Void Worm, but I don't think that's an opportunity that's going to present itself. Nor do I want to have to come back here. God, I wish I had my light source. This probably looks awful on stream with the bitrate. Dark areas with a lot of detail in the darkness tend to get really awful looking with the bitrate that I stream at. I remember Shaded. I'd gone back and watched Shaded. Oh, it was so blocky there. And like with all the visual distortions in the black, I imagine it probably doesn't show up too well. I'm waiting for the Myros Vulture. I, I, as soon as we get into the Void Sea room, there's going to be a Myros Vulture that comes down from above and kills us. I 
think you guys thought this character would be beatable. At least some of you. The only thing that we did that was like a really big mistake, I think, was not uh, passaging out of Sky Islands when we had the chance. And just spending a ton of time there. Okay. Now, I'm not going to lie, the ending has been slightly spoiled by a couple people, but I don't know specific details. I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but I have a vague idea that it involves a visual novel, because apparently somebody felt that that was the best way to describe this slug cat. Is this the slug cat with the visual novel ending? Because apparently that, that's just how... Uh, I, I don't know why the fuck somebody would say that. It spoils the entire thing, but that is the extent of information I have about this. Oh, score is just going to be like zero if it tallies the score at the end. Because of all the times we died and how long we spent doing this. Oh, are we good? Are we in? Oh, not quite. Although it hasn't been counting track of the things we've killed. Unlike most slug cats. Alright, where's the Myros Vulture? Yeah, this is what this normally looks like. Okay. Alright. Let's get to swimming. I'm gonna, like, wiggle to the side and tap as soon as your arms are done, right? Hey, where'd my spear go? Oh, I lost my spear. Maybe it already stripped my items from me. I thought it let you keep your items for longer. Sperm worms. The game looks much more purple than it normally does down here. I don't remember those big streaks of purple being down in the void. Maybe that's based on your color? Your slug cat color? Because those look like a similar color to what we are. Maybe they're always there and I just never noticed, but. Immediately after this, I will probably edit together the successful segments of each stream and then upload that as a video of, like, what the full game looks at this, editing out, like, the non-important failures, right? Uh, just the ones where either karma changed or we made progress to a different shelter. Because otherwise it'd be like, I don't know how long I've been playing this. 25 hours? Actually, no, I think it's only probably only been like 17 or 18 hours. This is the third day. We did about six hours, then like seven and a half hours, and like three hours today. It's over like 15, 16, 17 hour range. Okay, we made it past the sperm worms. So far, everything looks pretty normal.
I wish I could have bought a gun to shoot one of them, but... Actually, hold on. No, the egg's not in my stomach anymore. I can't egg them. I tried pulling it out, but... Or maybe I can't do it underwater or something. I forgot how long this ending sequence was. It's very surreal the first time you do it. The subsequent ones... It's, it's a lot of swimming down. Okay. Base boosted void worm. Do I have to grab it, or does it just grab me, or what? It grabs me. This section probably looks awful with a bit, right? Granted, not that it's very coherent in game in the first place. Um, I baked them last night. It was like a Betty Crocker sugar cookie thing, which firstly, like, wild idea. Cooking a cookie with, like, it's a stick of butter and one egg, and that's all the moisture you got, and you, like, beat that into a dough. That was difficult. That was, that was some high-level stuff. Um, and they were really great coming out of the oven, but then they sat overnight, the ones that we didn't eat. Um, and now it's in, like, the, it's really tough. It's not soft anymore. Um... We swim towards them, right? And we just keep... No, no, no. They, we just keep swimming down. Yeah, yeah. Is it normally black here? Or is it normally white? I don't remember. No, I think it is black. Because if it was white, Survivor wouldn't show up. You wouldn't... Yeah, it's like you bite into the cookie, and like, it, it's really firm and difficult. Like, it still tastes good, it's still a sugar cookie. The flavor's nice. Um... Yeah, there's the light coming up from the bottom, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember my first playthrough. I spent forever swimming around in here trying to figure out where to go, because I think I kept following the... I think I kept swimming right because I was following them or something. supposed to go right? Let's swim down right. I don't... <laughs> I 
Every time I do this, I feel like I'm doing it the wrong way. But I think I see... Maybe there's just, like, Leo coming in behind me. I can't fucking tell. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Am I? I can't tell. Can't be the right way. Because we're reach it right now. Right? God, it's been too long since I've done this. If I'm going the wrong way, can somebody ping me on Discord and tell me which direction to swim in? I don't want to look at chat because I don't trust you guys not to spoil anything. Message in Discord. Swim up? Fuck this game! God damn it. I knew I was going in the wrong direction. It was a 50-50 shot and I was supposed to go up or down. That's not what we look like. We're not yellow. We're blue. We're not a lemon. No, that is what I look like. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We're purple. Really purple, more like a deep blue color, though. That's me. That's what I look like. I'm making it like an uwu face. That's no, an owo face. O w o. He's a furry.
You have been through hell and back, but now it's time to atone for your sins and your past cycles. You must find a mate or die. Which direction do I head? North. You trek to the north, towards a land of towering structures that pierce the heavens. You traverse the rocky, hilly fields as you avoid large predators that roam the area. It is here where you hope to find a mate, if they even exist in this strange place. You spot a strange slug cat climbing one, of the, climbing one of the towers unlike any you've seen before. It has no mouth with which to eat or speak with and is able to generate spiky bone-like protrusions from its tail. It does not react when it notices you, giving you a good view of it. Fascinating. Do you approach it to see if it is compatible either as a mate or a food resource? Yes. You approach the strange slug, strange slug cat cautiously, watching it as it climbs to the top of the tower. You're not sure what it's doing, but you hope that it is another slug cat. Maybe you could have a conversation, or whatever slug cats do. You call out to it, but it doesn't react. Perhaps it is deaf or cannot hear you. You begin to wave your hand in an effort to get its attention. Throw a rock at it? Do I not have any other options? The rock hits their head and they stare back at you with annoyance. Can't you tell I'm trying to ignore you? I heard you had to suffer through being the protagonist of the first more slug cats dating sim. Please don't drag me into this again. You don't really follow the conversation, only you don't really follow the conversation, only stare back in confusion. What? The other slug cat rubs their fingers into their forehead in frustration. We even decide to make another one of these. At this time, all this time, people have been waiting for more slug cats to release. What will they think when they learn that three and a half years of the entire development time was spent solely on developing this dating sim? Look, just come over here and kiss me already, and let's get this over with. I kiss you, but you don't have a mouth. I used to have a mouth back in the more slug cats version. Back in the first more slug cats version, I used to be able to swallow and regurgitate spears. Isn't that romantic? You blush. Yeah, that that certainly is something. But now look how they nerfed me. Unbelievable. Spearmaster abruptly stabs a spear deep into the wall with a tremendous amount of force. It's a bit terrifying. How are you even talking to me right now? What? Oh, I don't need a mouth for that. I vocalize out of my tail. You stare at the holes on their, on their tail, both fascinated and repulsed by their questionable biology. Approach the tail. You lean your mouth towards the tail and they immediately jump back. Ew, what, what do you think you're trying to do? You continue after them until they backed into the edge of the platform. <laughs> I just looked at the slug cat face. Go for the kill. As you approach, sharp needles suddenly erupt out of every hole in their tail, piercing through your body multiple times. You die pretty much immediately. Restart. Okay. East. You travel to the east, to a large expanse of water littered with small islands and outcropping the industrial waste and the skeletons of civilizations long forgotten. When you arrive at this water's edge, you search around for a little while, and then you find a small cave that you think will make a suitable home for you. You step into the entrance and make yourself comfortable. However, you begin to hear some noise. It sounds like something is moving around and making sounds, but you can't make out what it is because the noise is coming from further inside the cave. You are uneasy and, and unsure of what to do. Call out to them. A creature suddenly springs out with an alarming speed. It's another slug cat like you, except blue colored with some kind of strange aquatic gills on their face. They jump up and down in excitement upon seeing you. It's another slug cat! It's another slug cat, it says! Clearly an energetic one. It continues speaking excitedly. Wah! Another slug cat! Did you come here to scavenge materials too? I'm scavenging. I'm scavenging for love. Without listening to your response, the kill slug cat jumps up on top of you. Mwah! You smell so good! You're so, so good! Whoa, calm down, you're being obnoxious, you reply. It's not that you have anything against it, per se, but this one seems a little ex incredibly excited about you, and that makes you uncomfortable. Are you afraid of me? The blue creature asks. Psh, no way, you're nothing. The gill slug cat giggles, and then suddenly jumps up and jumps down into a small puddle of water and disappears. The cave becomes very quiet after that. You wonder if they're coming back, or if maybe they didn't like your answer. I feel like if we chase after them, we're gonna drown. Oh wait. After only a few minutes of waiting, you feel and hear an ominous rumbling. The slug cat springs back out of the puddle excitedly, a huge smile on their face. They are trailed by a monstrous mechanical beast larger than you've ever seen. You are not smiling. You are scared. Roll out of the way. You try to move, but the beast is practically as large as the entire interior of the cave. Its mechanical draw crushes around you like a prison. The other slug cat slips away swiftly with a giggle while the jaws clamp shut and shatter, shut and shatter every bone in your body. Restart. Okay, no, no, no. We got a romance swiftly. Though. Hold on. Call out to them. It's scavenging for love. Uh, let's try chasing after them. You decide to jump down to the puddle of water too and fi figure out where they went. You slip down into the fridge of water and begin to gasp as the cold water rapidly seeps around your thick skin. You try to look around underwater, but you can't see the other slug cat anywhere. You flail your arms about and try to tread water, but it's no use. You're disoriented and lose track of the way back out. It's only a few seconds later before you pass out. Restart. Okay. Maybe we tell them we're afraid of them. Okay. Call out to them. I'm scavenging for love. Yeah, a little. The slug cat suddenly leans forward and whispers in your ear. That is a fear. That's respect. I like a slug with some fear in their eyes. I like a challenge. You have a challenge for me, don't you? You still do not know what, what to make of this slug cat. Its body is blue and slimy, and you do not feel particularly well about it. You would prefer to have a less, hy less hyperactive front. You notice that it's watching you very carefully, as if it is waiting for a chance to pounce on you. Okay, I'm interested. 
You cannot help but feel that it is a little too friendly and you're not quite sure why. Perhaps it's just the effect of this creature's natural exuberance and you're overthinking it. Break the silence. Uh, I should probably- So anyway, if you look- So anyway, if you're looking to date me, you need to meet my mother first. What? Sorry, it's a requirement. Do you want to go see her now? I... Uh... Yeah, sure, I guess. Yay, it's been so long since we had a visitor. They suddenly run circles around you and grasp your, grasp your hand firmly. Come on, come on, let's go! Before you know it, you're being dragged swiftly out of the cave by them. Whoa. You're rapidly escorted along the structure of the water- uh, Along the surface of the water towards a struct- Towering monolith of a structure in the distance. God, I can't wait. The slug cat does not let up their energy as they take you inside the structure and you quickly weave through a maze of interior passages. Your mother lives here? Yeah, she's right in this room. You emerge into a large, open, metallic chamber, the floors of which are soaked with pools of water. A mechanical device floats around the chamber, gleaming with floating lights. You don't understand. Huh? Uh, where's your mom at? What do you mean? She's right there. The slug cat excitedly points towards the floating device and then randomly does back to you. What do you mean? You question everything. Was this a trap? Is this even a viable partner? There is no doubt in your mind that the slug cat must be a construct, a programmed puppet controlled by her mother's voice. She is not truly alive in any way you can tell. This is simply the next generation of a very old tradition using a new form of technology as a tool. Uh... Nice to meet you. Can you understand me? I'm looking for a soulmate. We gotta be forward. I'm looking for a soulmate. Honesty is the best policy. You tell the machine that you are here to find your soulmate. Your partner's mother looks at you with new eyes. You creatures and your romantic ideals. How sweet. A soulmate is someone who will help you find your path in life, be it good or bad. Am I right so far? Yeah, I think so. I'm glad you were brought here to find someone special, someone who will love and cherish you forever. It's important to find someone to share your life with, to find someone who will accept you for who you are and will love you unconditionally. Yo! Lol, that's what I was- that's exactly what I was gonna say, smiled the kind machine lady. Suddenly your stomach starts to rumble. Okay, forget all of that. You poor thing, you must be starving. Your partner's mother orbits you with some concern. I can't believe my child didn't feed you before coming here, they have no manners. You try to track her position as the robotic arm spirals around frantically. They're trying to date you and they don't even know how to take care of you, for shame. Nah, that's cool, I'm used to starving. You shrug. Do you have any food, though? All we have at the moment are these marshmallows that Ruffles gathered last time they were out. You recoil at the food item. It's not one you're familiar with, you're not sure what to make of it. You can have some, we have plenty. Offer your egg. Ah, you would like me to read this? It's a bit dusty, but I'll do my best. Hold on. Their mother begins to explain the properties of the egg to you in excruciating detail. Wait, no, don't explain it, make food with it. Oh, of course, it's been a while since I've cooked a proper meal. <laughs> the machine twirls around through the air excitedly. With this egg, we can make a classic, yet somewhat, somewhat modern, slug cake. You need more than an egg for that, you say as you ponder the orbulous egg. I can improvise. I'll have you know that I am a very capable cook. Okay, good luck, Mom. She suddenly pauses in the air with the egg. Wait a second. This egg... Yeah, it's an egg. This egg is just the right amount of portable. Yeah, eggs tend to be that way. This recipe would be just the right tactical, tactical implementation. Implement this food into implement this food into my mouth. Could this be a solution? Solution to my hunger, yes. She suddenly cracks the egg in half. A forceful suction pulls the egg that begins that pulls the machine and all of the floating lights into it. As they collect into a central point, it's as if all of the lights begin to combine to create an increasingly blinding glow. The suction only grows stronger, pulling the water, rocks, and surrounding metal into it. You and your partner are caught up in this and get assimilated as well. Open your eyes. In this white void, Everything is combined. Your memories remain, but so too have you acquired the memories of your partner and family. Have you found your soulmate, or have you become your soulmate? It seems like one and the same. A perfect, undeniable, shared understanding of each other. A soul combined in unison. This was the state of being you were searching for, you were sure of it. Okay. That seems... Yeah, we got a soulmate. Yeah, I'll look at chat again now. Retry? What? But we became egg! But we became egg! We became egg! We are egg! Look at us! Romance more? Okay. Let's check if we can change up Ruffles' things. Uh, I'm looking for a soulmate. Do you have any food? Take the marshmallow. You stick the marshmallow into your mouth and it is immediately not what you're expecting. While it is soft and chewy like a good slime mold would be, it has an added layer of awful spice. It is actually so gross your entire mouth is on fire. As you swallow, you feel as if acid is running through your insides. You fall to the ground in pain. What did you just eat? The world around you goes blurry as the fire rages inside. This will be your final meal. Okay. Bad ending. Oh wait. Fuck. I didn't mean to... Yeah. East. Enter. Call out to them. I'm scavenging for love. Yeah, a little. Uh, break the silence. Yeah, sure, I guess. Whoa, your mother lives here. What do you mean? 
I'm looking for a soulmate. Smile at the machine lady. Do you have any food? Eat the glowy food instead. Now I'm good. I'll just take one of these. You jump up and grab one of the glowy food items floating in the air. Almost immediately as you touch it, your mother, your partner's mother lets out a guttural screech piercing your eardrums. You don't know what's happening. You turn quickly to look back at the other slug cat in confusion, but they appear to be screaming as well. Uh, did I do something wrong? Stop hurting my mom. The other slug cat skips across the surface of the water pool at a speed that should not be physically possible. Before you know it, their hands are around your throat. They push you down into the water and hold you there. You struggle to get free, but it's no hope. The glow of the floating fluid items twinkle above the surface of the water, looking like stars. It's a beautiful final vision to end your journey on. Um, is there another ending with Rivulet? Should I, like, continue clicking through the other dialogue options, or...? No? Okay. One for each. Okay. To the south, you approach a land of waste and ruins. The scattered byproducts of bygone eras lie strewn across this landscape in mounds that resemble artificial hills and mountains. You proceed further. Suddenly in the distance, you see a crimson-colored slug cat. Okay, cranberry flavor. I'm interested. She is aggressive and seems to have the ability to create explosions from her body. That is sexy as fuck. I am interested. And propel herself with a shockwave. She is a mother slug cat who is grieving for the loss of her children. So what you're saying is... Explodey, dommy, mommy, slug cat? Regardless, she is your only hope of continuing your lineage. You must choose to approach her carefully or else she'll flee due to her being terrified and grief-stricken. Sneak up on her, throw the egg at her. A milf slug cat, yeah. You remain silent and hidden among tall blades of grass, slowly approaching the mother slug cat. Your body is shaking nervously and your eye is twitching. Your efforts of remaining unseen are in vain. The mother slug cat looks directly at you. You feel your heart pounding as she stares into your eyes. She lets out a loud hiss, jumping backwards in an exaggerated fashion. She is scared of you, just as you are of her. It seems you share a tragic bond. Both of you are lonely individuals. Hand her a rock. You pick up a rock and hand it to the mother slug cat. She holds it in her hand and stares at it, but doesn't seem to be pleased. She places it into her mouth, coating it with an explosive substance. She spits it out, having turned the rock into an explosive. She holds it in her paws and seems to admire it, then throws it back at you. It explodes upon impact with you, causing you to fall backwards. You are dazed and confused as the world spins around you. You struggle to breathe as the world fades to black. Okay, let's throw the egg at her. You fling the explosive egg at her in an attempt to subdue her. The egg shatters when it hits the ground, instantly beginning to generate a space-time singularity. The other slug cat creates her own explosion, pairing the egg back at you. You try to run away, but the shockwave of the explosion slams into you, hurting you severely. You lie on the floor dying as the other slug cat looks at you with pity. She utters a few last words. I am sorry, but you should have known better than to mess with a mother slug cat on the hunt. Uh, blush at her. You giggle at her exaggerated jump and blush as she stares at you angrily. She begins heading away from you and despair wells up inside of you. It's your last chance. You have to take it now. Wait, you're cute. You let out with the words, the truth that you couldn't hold back. The mother slug cat turns her head and begins walking towards you with a curious expression on her face. She rubs your head with her paw and you can feel your heart pounding in your chest. She hugs you with one of her claws, and you hug back. You don't need to be alone, baby. She softly smiles and gives you a kiss on the cheek. You take her paw in your hand and look into her eyes. Behind her, the sun bursts through the clouds, casting an array of beautiful colors on the landscape. The rain stops falling, and a rainbow forms overhead. Regurgitate a pearl from your stomach. <laughs> you pull the large brown pearl from your stomach and offer it to her. Immediately, a hundred scavengers emerge at the sight of the pearl with raised spears. You back away, and the mother slug cat hisses and spits at them. The scavengers growl in anger and begin charging at you both. The two of you are outnumbered, but you have each other, and that's all you need. You both stand ready to fight. You and the mother slug cat fight valiantly against the vicious horde of scavengers, but you ultimately overcome. You sacrifice yourself, taking several of the scavengers with you. She escapes without so much of a scratch, leaving you to die a warrior's death. Okay. Uh, sneak up on her. Let's keep moving towards her. No, okay, we got a blush at her. You continue moving cautiously, approaching the mother slug cat at a slow pace. It isn't working. She remains frightened of you. You try to think of how to calm her, but it seems your efforts are in vain. She grabs a spear lying on the ground next to her. You watch her, she aims it directly at you. Please don't hurt me, baby, you find yourself saying. Her spear releases, flying straight towards you. You attempt to dodge, but to no avail. It pierces straight through you and you fall to the ground. You have been killed by the mother slug cat. Seed further, sneak up on her, blush at her. Wait! She stops walking, her back still facing you. Your voice trembles as you speak out to her again, tears rustling running down your face. She slowly turns around to face you once more. It seems you have nothing to lose, so you try one last thing to convince her. Please go out with me. She stares at you, then begins laughing. You feel mentally crushed by her laugh. <laughs> you pitiful, she says. I'm going to end you. The mother slug cat suddenly pounces at you. It's quick and vicious. It's all over before you have time to react. Um. Throw the oh, no, don't throw the egg. 
South, proceed further, sneak up on her. Blush at her. I know what you- I know what you really need. You say this and she looks at you with curiosity. What could you possibly know about me, she asks. You're lonely. She looks away sadly and her body begins shaking. She stumbles backwards and falls over onto the ground. With a gasp, she says, you understand me perfectly. She begins crying loudly and you sit by her. You stroke her face with your long, slimy fingers and she stops crying. You need egg. You take out the egg you've been carrying around to give it to her. She accepts it and her eyes brighten up. With a smile on her face and the egg in her hand, she sits back down. She places it in her mouth and coats it with a transformative bacteria. She spits it back out and places it on the ground. The egg begins to grow in a glow in a bright light. She steps back and stares at it and the egg begins to transform. Figures emerge from the light. What did you just do? Mother, we are reborn. We are reintroduced to the existence. We are a family now. The new creatures look like the mother slug cat and she is happy. She hugs the figures and they embrace her back. You feel like you have finally done something right, and you have. Goodbye, loneliness. Goodbye, sadness. Hello, family. Walk into the light and embrace them. You walk towards the figures emerging from the light, and they embrace you. Their slimy bodies feel warm to the touch, and you feel tears escape your eyes. You have never felt so loved in your life. You enter the light as a family. She needed egg. West. You travel to the west, towards a very overgrown section of the world. The world was once filled with many amazing things, and vegetation was one of them. By traveling to the west, you are searching towards a place that has grown wild with plants and flowers. As you make your way up a hill, you see a hef large, hefty slug cat, who seems to have no problem maintaining their diet in this challenging world. Okay. Dilf? Bear Dad Bod Gourmand? As you watch, you notice that they seem to have the ability to generate infinite objects by regurgitating them from their stomach. You approach carefully, unsure of whether to attack or speak to them. Pick up a rock and throw it at them. You pick up a small rock and throw it at the hefty slug cat, but it bounces off their fat exterior. Completely unfazed. The hefty slug cat stares at you, narrowing their eyes. You widen your eyes and begin to sweat profusely, preparing for the hefty slug cat's retaliation. The hefty slug cat walks towards you, raising a tiny stubby arm and pokes you in the forehead. I wasn't expecting to see somebody else out here. You're not from my colony, right? They ask. Uh, no, I'm looking for another slug cat to be my mate, oh well, you say. Ah, so that's it. I can tell by the way you said it. It's not an easy thing for you to say. Things have been tough lately, haven't they? Tough? Nah, I'm a pro gamer. The hefty slug cat stares at you, chins wobbling. You're a pro... gamer? You nod. The hefty slug cat stares at you, seemingly in thought. A pro gamer, huh? I've never heard that one before. I've had, I've heard plenty of others, but that's a new one. It's true, though. The hefty slug cat stares at you and puts a finger to their chin. I'm afraid you're... A liar is all I see before me. Liars have been known to make the most insane of claims. Your heart rate increases. You've never been this great under, pre great under pressure. <laughs> LMAO, a liar? Nah, check this. They call this a pro gamer move. You throw your egg by your feet and prepare to use the gravity manipulation strat to fling yourself super far with the singularity. Perform your frame perfect input. You pounce back to the edge of the singularity's gravity field and slide cancel backwards towards the outer 5% of the shockwave's radius. You are two pixels off, however, and you immediately get sucked back to the core of the singularity. Every atom in your body is jostled as you become extremely dead. Gorman, I am a pro gamer. Okay, I got here unassisted. Okay. He doesn't believe. Okay. I'm lonely. I hear that. Things have been getting worse for us lately, haven't they? It's been tough for myself as well, the hefty slug dad says. Really? You're huge, and you have, like, infinity supplies. How are you lonely, you ask? I can procure many things from my stomach, but love is not one of them. The hefty slug cat sighs and sits near you. You realize that the ground is wet, but you sit as well. Give them a hug. You try to wrap your arms around the hefty slug cat's large exterior, but your arms cannot reach all the way around. The hefty slug cat laughs and says, <laughs> You're cute. You're not sure how to respond, so you laugh nervously. The hefty slug cat is just standing there, laughing. Uh, you're really warm, you say, trying to think of something to say. Yeah, I suppose I am, the hefty slug cat says, and begins laughing for a while. Neither of you know what to say, so you sit in silence for a while. What are you doing out here right now? Gathering food and supplies for my colony. You have a whole colony? Yeah, of course. Well, not, we're not all loners like you. How big are we talking? Oh, I'd say about 30 or 40, give or take a few. Whoa! Out of all of them, I want to be with you. The hefty slug cat looks at you with the strangest look in their eye. Are you sure that's what you want? Are you sure that's what you want? Yes, I've never been this sure of anything in my life. With that, the hefty slug cat smiles. All right then, as long as you're sure about this, let's do it. You nod your head. This is the happiest moment of your life. 
take their ha hand and go someplace private. You walk with the hefty slug cat, hand in hand. You're both nervous and excited, this is what you've been waiting for. Once you reach someplace private, they s stop and start making a bonfire. You stare at them, confused. Uh, what are you doing? Weren't you inviting me? Weren't you inviting me for a private dinner? Oh yeah! Yeah, of course! <laughs> you say, laughing nervously. You start coughing excessively and you stare at them, worried. Um... Uh, what should I make for us to eat? I wanted you. You take a deep breath and look into their eyes. I want you to be my mate, Uwu. Their eyes widen. The hefty slug cat goes through a list of emotions. First is shock, then happiness, then fear, then anger. They fall back and start involuntarily spitting items from their mouth. Uh, OMG, are you okay? A bomb drops out of their mouth and they fumble to try to pick it up. However, it accidentally detonates. You close your eyes from the blast and feel heat on your back. You disintegrate. Okay, let's try again. I'm lonely. Give him a hug. Out of all of them, I want to be with you. What are you doing? I have this egg. You take out the egg from your pouch and offer it to the hefty slug cat. They smile and begin grinning from ear to ear. You brought me food, they say. They say. Ah, uh, yeah, you want it? You ask nervously. Yes, I want it. Give it to me. They begin heating the egg over the fire, making scrambled eggs. How did you know I love eggs? The hefty slug cat asks, beaming. Beaming. You stare at them, still nervous and unsure of what to say. Ah, uh, I don't know. You watch them cook. As the egg cooks, reality itself seems to bend around the resultant food product. Time seems to warp, and you watch as the steam rises as if in slow motion. It's as if the salt, pepper, and heat of the fire all bend space and time to reach a primordial state of deliciousness. You stare at the hefty slug cat with bewilderment, but your mouth can't help but salivate. With a sudden primal hunger, the other slug cat greedily consumes all of the egg. Their body begins to glow and levitate, and infinite matter begins to radiate from their mouth. You shield your eyes. The light is blinding, and it's as if, it's as if it has consumed everything. Out of a singular point of the slug cat's mouth, subatomic particles rain. They combine into atoms and then into more complex elements and matter. Slowly the light becomes, begins to consolidate into a dimmer afterglow. You open your eyes. A cycle has been completed. A new universe has been born. You have a lot of work to do. Okay. So we can go down on... Who's the last slug cat left? Who are we going down on? Saint? Are we going down on Saint? You descend beneath the ground. Yeah, we can try to go down on Spearmaster again, but... To the deepest reaches where the nat nature of reality distorts the fog demons roam and the past civilizations border the void. Surely for someone with your experiences, this would be the most appropriate location to potentially find a mate to spend your life with. However, it is not always so. Once the search begins, one does not always find what they are looking for. Explore the void. The void is a place of instability and decay. It is a place that can't even be properly defined or accurately described. Rather, it is a state of non-conformity in which everything may be possible and nothing is certain. Look around. You look around and see that you are not alone. There are other creatures like yourself scuttling around amongst the rocks. You hear a sound like the chomping of jaws. You need to be careful as it's very dark here and predators could be hidden around any corner. Investigate the sound. You cautiously edge- oh, I'm great at edging. Oh, uh, you cautiously edge around the corner, your eyes peering into the darkness. You see nothing but hear the chomping of jaws again. As if perfectly blended with the darkness, a black mouth of a lizard springs out of the darkness at you. It is an ambush predator, and you fall into the jaws of a carnivorous monster. There is a fiery pain before the world fades away. Explore the void, look behind you. You turn around to immediately see a large figure behind you. You're not entirely sure what you're looking at, but perhaps a pair of enormous feet. That's... Is this a giant orange lizard? Hang on. Hang on. Your eyes trail further up. That's a big creature, all right. Are those muscles? Those, they are very well defined. You begin to blush a little, they also but also feel that you're in suddenly in very real danger. Look all the way up. Oh, hello. Okay. You look up and see a terrifying face. Terrifying? If that's terrifying, then I want to live in fear every day. A monstrous, bestial visage that fills you with unquenchable dread. Oh, there's something else that's unquenchable that sure as hell isn't dread. You'd recognize that face anywhere. You try to resist the urge to squeal in delight. You're their biggest fan. You feel the creature's muscles. Oh. The creature grabs you by the neck, lifting you off the ground by your fleshy appendages. You see a long, sharpened canine tooth on the upper jaw protrude as the beast opens its mouth to bite you. The creature is without doubt the largest and most powerful predator you've ever come across. The way it stands and holds itself suggests an immense amount of strength and stability. You blush profusely. There's a quick flash of light accompanied by a loud pain that rings in your ears. The creature suddenly goes limp and collapses to the ground. That's impossible, it should be invincible. You feel a presence. Hello, was that guy bothering you? 
A green colored slug cat floats from the <laughs> floats down from the sky in front of you. It has an awe of tranquility around it, yet some part of your mind feels some instinctive primal fear from its very being. The slug cat has an extremely long tongue, quite a bit quite a bit different from any slug cat you've encountered before. What that tongue do? I can think of a lot of things you could do with that tongue same. In any case, this is the first of your species you've encountered here and could be an eligible mate. Wow, please lick me. The slug cat gives you a strange look, but then complies. Their tongue launches at you, slapping you across the cheek. As it retracts, the stickiness of it pulls you forwards, causing you to face plant on the floor. That was less romantic than you thought it would be, actually quite insulting. Lay there in embarrassment. You lay face planted on the floor, feeling kind of dumb. You roll over onto your side, expecting to see them laughing at you, and instead you see the slug cat casually floating over to take your egg. Whoa, whoa, what do you think you're doing there? They ignore you and continue towards the egg. Hey, don't touch that! They finally stop their pursuit and turn to look at you. Why? They- Why? They ask with an expressionless look. Trust me, it won't taste good. Oh, I wasn't going to eat it. Plus, I'm more of a taco guy myself. They give the slightest impression of a grin, then turn back towards the egg. Wait and observe. You know what you do- You know what you do with the egg, but part of you is curious to see what other uses this egg might have. Does the slug cat know something that you don't? You sit back and watch. What are you going to do with it? I don't know how this got in your possession, but I've been looking for this for a long time. Uh, cool, but what do you need it for? This will finally solve everything. Slug cat's fur stands up on end. Okay. Uh, sure, dude. You can borrow it for a bit. The slug cat settles the egg on the ground and stares at it with determination. Let me take care of this. It'll all be over soon. They enter into a deep concentration and begin to levitate slowly above the ground. A bright X-shaped light forms above their head and then begins to travel towards the egg. As the light settles over the egg, it begins to grow increasingly brighter. Then, in quick combination, the light is met with a deafening pang as it ruptures the egg. Cover your ears. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's see if there's an ending with Spearmaster. What if we don't approach it? You decide to wait and watch it some more, as you're not too sure what to make of the creature. Spearmaster is like the super kinky version, right? Because, like, you could do some kinky shit with those spears. And I'm into that. So I'm interested. You decide to wait and watch it some more, as you're not too sure what to make of the creature. It simply sits there and continues to generate more and more spikes out of its tail, building an arsenal of weaponry. You must be preparing for a big hunt. A true survivor, you can't help but be impressed. Grab some spears to assist in the hunt. <laughs> this slug cat could be your hunting buddy. You go to grab a spear off the ground, but as soon as your hand touches it, the slug cat finally reacts to your presence. They unload their arsenal on you, when you get spears to lightning speed. You can't dodge them all and quickly succumb to your injuries. Yes, throw a rock at it. What? Kiss you, we don't have a mouth. How you been talking to me? Sharing their frustration. I kind of get what it feels like to be nerfed, to be honest. He pats Spearmaster on the shoulder. I gotta eat so much food to hibernate. It's dumb. They even removed me from arena mode. What the hell? Yeah, I guess you have it rough as well. Actually, no. What would Spearmaster sound like? Yeah, I guess you have it rough as well. These developers hate us. Spearmaster looks at you with deep understanding. Honestly, I heard a rumor they were gonna remove me from the game entirely. Absolutely sadistic. Give Spearmaster a hug. It's okay, we slug cats need to stick together a little- I love you, baby. You wipe the tears out of Spearmaster's eyes. Thank you, I needed to hear that, Spearmaster says. But speaking of nerfed, I'm hungry and need to find nutrients to siphon with my spears. Spearmaster generates a fresh spear out of their tail and looks at it with admiration. I got eggs on the house. You pull out your trusty egg that you've been carrying with you all the time. Spearmaster looks over it curiously. It has a hard shell, so I'm not sure how effective my spears would be at siphoning from it, but I suppose it's worth a shot. You place the egg on the ground and line it up neatly for a clearing throw from one of Spearmaster's spears. They take aim and throw a direct hit into the egg. It immediately distorts the space around it like a miniature, miniature black hole. Shield your eyes. It's bright, extremely bright, but only for a moment. With all its might, Spearmaster's spear sucks the singularity into it, absorbing it as a nutrient. The distortion of space subsides, but Spearmaster's spear and attached umbilical begins glowing with a bright it Begins to glow with a blinding light. What? is this? I can't absorb it all! Reach your hand out to rescue Spearmaster. Spearmaster struggles for a moment before the body collapses in on itself, into a single point of matter smaller than your eye can even perceive. But with it, all of the surrounding matter begins to be absorbed into the point as well, in a runaway cascading collapse. You try to run, but you begin to be absorbed into the point almost as fast as you can try to react. Before you know it, your body is spaghettified and your surroundings go black, yet somehow you are still conscious. Observe your surroundings.
With an expanse of blackness, you soon see an unfamiliar silhouette. Mechanical noises whiz as it slowly pivots its way towards your location. Little creature, you were my first visitor, but hopefully not the last. I expected I would be visited by one of my own, but I suppose a dim-witted creature like you will suffice. This is pretty unlaw, my man. Shh, there is much work to be done, and I could use a helper. This is just the beginning. You shrug. There's not much else to do in this forge, and you don't feel like wasting your brain cells trying to reason around a dating sim story arc. You get to work. Are there any other endings that we missed? No? Okay. Go for egg ending? This is egg ending. Let's accept our fate. I missed Gourmand. Only bad endings. I only did one saint ending. <clears throat> Saint has multiple ways. There's a really good death for Spearmaster that I missed? Okay. Um, let's go search for food. Oh, what about me? Hmm? You need food too? No, I mean, you can siphon my nutrients with your spears. What? Okay. You want me to stab you? You'll die! Please, please stab me. Please, please thrust your spear into me, stupid Spearmaster. Jesus Christ. I have never wanted anything as much as I want your spear thrusted into me. Man, whatever, I don't have time for this. The rain is gonna come soon. Spearmaster takes the spear and chucks it at your torso. It's not a pleasant experience and you quickly lose consciousness. Your nutrients leave your body. Don't walk at it. I have problems? No, that is complete- that is the reasonable response. Let's go search for food. You and Spearmaster climb to the roof of the tower and search for food. You overlook the canopies of structures out in the distance. The view is industrial, but oddly beautiful. You lean your head against Spearmaster's shoulders. This is nice. It is 100% what? Not? What is 100% not? A loud noise fires from the sky, and a large harpoon immediately skewers Spearmaster's chest cavity. Their corpse is hoisted up into the sky by a string. What? Hey, I'm the Vulture King, and this is our territory. Get lost, buddy. You just killed my boyfriend. You got a problem with that? Our boss here does what he wants. We ruled this canopy. I'll get my revenge. Raising your voice, say, hey, we'll teach you a lesson you won't forget. You won't forget the wrath of the Vulture Gang. Grab a spear off the ground. Before you get the chance to react, red balls of spit fly towards the air and the impelting the vultures. They fly backwards, looking shocked. You vultures think you rule this canopy? Not when I'm around. I'll rip your wings right off your body. The red lizard makes quick chase, and the three vultures decide to make an escape. Threaten the red lizard with your spear. Whoa, wait, that's not necessary. I'm not here to eat you. I'm used to dealing. I'm used to dealing with red lizards. Don't think you can pull anything on me, foul beast. No, no, I just wanted to introduce you to my friend. They're kind of shy, but they've been eyeing you from a distance. Uh, okay. Sure, I guess. The red lizard runs off to get their friend like a good wingman. What is even happening right now? Hello. It's nice to meet you. Uh, hey, what's up? I, uh... I just think you're pretty cute. You're, like, pretty cute. Oh, thanks. So, do you come here often? Uh, yeah. This is, like, my hangout spot. Oh, cool. That's pretty neat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, my gosh. Are you okay? Oh, I'm, I'm just so nervous. It's fine, deep breaths. I'm pretty chill, you don't need to be nervous. Oh wow, that's so understanding. I, I love you. What? I mean, wait, no, I can't say that yet. It's too early, right? No, I always mess this up. Pat the lizard on the head. Before you get a chance to reach your hand out, a tentacle slaps the back of the lizard and pulls them off the edge of the tower. You hear a faint sloping sound before more tentacles emerge over the edge. Panic. The situation has gotten out of control. Too much is happening at once. You grab your head as the massive tentacles move towards you. Uh, whoa! Yeah, that's not an appropriate thing to say. This is a family-friendly dating sim. You need to watch your mouth. Throw your spear at the creature. It has a little effect and the creature quickly ensnares you in its tentacles. You are dragged into its rotten maw where your body is dissolved away. Okay. Uh, any other good Spearmaster endings? Are there any other Spearmaster endings? I guess we could check. It won't take too long. I think that was all the endings. 
I'll check if there was another one. Okay. Uh, we could try the other rivulet endings. I'm scavenging for love. Yeah, a little. What if we have to be going now? The slug cat looks at you quizzically. You gotta be going now to see my mother? No. Yay, I'm so glad, let's go! They pounce on your back, flip over your shoulders, and they grasp your hand firmly. Before you can react, you're being swiftly dragged out to the cave, out of the cave by them. Yo, dude, wait. You rapidly escort along the surface of the water towards the towering monolith of the structure. Okay, come back here. Uh, nice to meet you. The device floats over to you. Oh, how sweet, nice to meet you too. It looks towards the other slug cat. Is this your new friend? I always enjoy having more company. Their mother seems very polite. You feel a little more comfortable. Yeah, I think we're dating now or something. Yeah, I think we're dating now or something. How adorable! A new member of the family. What's your name? Uh, I don't have a name. How can you not have a name? Their, their mom seems astonished. It's fine, mom. Don't be weird about it, the other slug cat interjects. No, we need to give them a nickname. How about Sophantheal? What? Mom, what kind of name is that? That sounds dumb. Okay, fine. What about Gorbo? Mom, you're like the worst at coming up with names. Shh, Ruffles, I'm trying to think here. I told you not to call me that. Uh, it's okay, let's just get back on track. Suddenly your stomach starts to rumble. Okay, we're back to eating. Um, I think these are all the ending options, because we... Unless there was another offer egg. Okay. Um, we could check one other possible rivulet ending. Yeah, sure, mother lives here, what do you mean? Can you understand me? The device floats over close to you. Of course I can understand you, little one. I, comp I comprise a vast network of intelligence. You feel dumb. Of course it can understand you. Why would they want- Why would they bring you to meet their mother if they couldn't understand? This is bad. You wanted to make a good first impression. You're already messing this up. You weren't ready to meet their parents. Why must things always be so stressful? Uh, yeah, of course I- I knew that. I was just kidding. Start to panic. There's no way this advanced machine isn't already judging your intelligence. You're blowing this. How embarrassing. You need to find a way out. You turn and make a dash for the room's exit. Hey, wait, where are you going? The other slug cat cries out behind you. Just keep running. You hop through the tunnel and crawl as fast as you can. This is the worst day of your life. How could you make- How could you- How could you have made such a fool of yourself? You run and run and don't ever look back. Okay. Yes, this is, uh, the blueberry slug cat's ending as a dating sim. Uh, south? Yes, milk slug cat. Okay. Um... Was there another artificer ending? We wanted to blush at her. I know what you really need. You need children. She looks at you in confusion as you explain yourself. We could populate this world, make new children. She growls angrily and begins to cry again. I had children. She looks at you angrily and spits in your face. They can't be replaced. She disappears, leaving behind a cloud, a dust cloud. Oh? You weep as she leaves, then you pack your things and leave as well. The rain is starting to come and you spend so much time talking that you forgot to eat. You lay down and accept your fate. Is there an, another artificer ending we're missing? Aside from egg ending? I thought that was all the artificer. Okay. Let's go for Gormand. What if we throw a spear at Gormand? The spear flies through the air and an elk and lands in front of the hefty slug cat. They look at it and then they look at you. You back up slowly, unsure of what they will do. We're going through all the endings, guys. We're, we're going. We're going. You guys don't have to panic. They pick up the spear, sniff it, and then throw it at you. You try to duck and get hit in the leg. The you're cute? No, we chose you're cute. Then you just die. Because, um, like scavengers show up or something. Unless there was another choice down the you're cute line. You're cute was the first thing we said. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you would catch it, the heavy slug cat says, running towards you. What? The spear, I threw it, so you would catch it. I didn't hit you. You stare at them in disbelief, hold your leg in pain. As the slug cat runs towards you, they trip over their own feet and their entire body weight falls on top of you. You hear a loud crunch as your vision goes black. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that either. The hefty slug cat is cut off as the egg-like object in your hand explodes, killing you both instantly. You think you missed a bit? Greet them. You cautiously move forward, staying low on the ground. You approach the large slug cat slowly, unsure of how they will react. As you get close, you yell hello at them. The sudden sound of your voice startles them, and they in instinctively roll up into a ball. They've been... They then begin to tumble down the hill towards you. Unsure of what you do, you duck and cover. This is highly ineffective and they land directly on top of you. You feel the air in your lungs forced out by the sheer force of their weight. Your last thoughts are of how heavy they felt as you die from the collision. Well done. Okay, pick up a rock. He didn't like us saying we were pro gamer, but I'll just say it's, it's been so tough. It has? Tell me, have you been hurt at all? The hefty slug cat asks. I'm just always in danger. 
Ah, I can respect that. The world we live in is a harsh one, and it's rare to find someone who can put up with that kind of lifestyle. Suddenly, three red lizards and a giant red centipede emerge over the hill. The hefty slug cat looks at them, and a rage fills their eyes. See, this is exactly what I'm saying. How is the DLC? DLC's good. No, you can. I think Gormand can roll infinitely. I think that's what they were referring to, is Gormand can just roll. Do the roll movement, but... <laughs> How can I put this? The hefty slug cat says. I think you may be cursed. What? I'm not cursed. I'm just unlucky, you say. No, like, if there's such a thing as destiny, whoever was responsible for designing your fate legitimately hates you. That's stupid, you say. Is it? Tell me, have you had a happy moment in your life? The hefty slug cat asks. No. Exactly, you're destined to suffer, and it's only natural you'd have difficulty finding love. Okay, that's cool and stuff, but we're kind of surrounded. The hefty slug cat looks behind you. You follow their gaze and see that the three red lizards and the giant red centipede have surrounded you. Go ahead and fight them. I'm a peace-loving slug cat. Fighting isn't really my thing, the hefty slug cat says. You sigh and turn to face the enemies behind you. The three lizards hiss and growl, flashing their teeth. Before you get a chance to do anything, you're covered by their spit while they quickly maul you to death. We start. Uh, okay. Pick up a rock and throw it at them. I'm lonely. Um, let's try patting them on the back. You pat the hefty slug cat on the back, extending your arm out as far as it can go. Yeah, the Gorman says he's peaceful. He puts out a fucking hit list and massacres everything. Met, you don't don't spoil how to do things. We're going through. You don't have to tell me what to do. We're going through all the endings. Don't stop. You pat the hefty slug cat on the back, extending your arm out as far as it can go. Like, wh why would you sp like? No, stop. You feel a slight pain in your arm, but you push through. Thanks, I really needed that. The hefty slug cat says, extending the arm out. Oh. Did we get the glitch ending for Gourmand? I thought we got the glitch ending for Saint. They pat you on the head. You feel warm and fuzzy. Somehow you don't feel alone anymore. What are you doing out here? Gathering food and supplies for my whole colony. You have a whole colony? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yo, hook me up. <laughs> you nervously ask if the hefty slug cat could hook you up with a mate in their colony. The hefty slug cat looks at a loud rumbling, lets out a low rumbling chuckle. <laughs> I doubt any of the slug cats I know would be interested in someone like you. You're small, scrawny, and have no combat abilities. Well, literally none of the slug cats in your colony could survive the stuff I went through, you say. What do you mean, the stuff you went through? You know, the pre-cycle rain, the myros vultures and red creatures, the rot, the million food pips I need to fill, I'll recycle, the nacho cheese, the deadly snails, those trained lizards, all that worm grass, whatever the hell the gimmick and chimney was, pebbles- Pebble Sky Island's just being fucking fuck you unfortunate development and being like impossible to platform out of. And then you got all the fucking foam arrays being filled with worm grass again. You got the Myros Vultures been trying to ride the reindeer. You got the red centipedes and shit all over the place. You got the fact that subterranean is black as hell. It's dark there. You got the red spiders you're trying to get out of shaded. You got industrial complex with the train lizards everywhere. It's just miserable. Everything sucks. Everything hurts. You list the many dangerous things you encountered on your journey to find a mate. I don't know what any of that stuff means, the hefty slug cat seems- the hefty slug cat seems even more confused. Never mind, you say. I'll just find the colony, lol. You begin to walk away, but the hefty slug cat stops you. I can't let you do that. You're an intruder. I need to see it! What if my fated mate is there? I can't let this go. The hefty slug cat stares at you in apathy. Look, I get that you have needs, and I sympathize, but if you want to go to our colony, we're gonna have issues. Maneuver your way past. I'm sorry, the hefty slug cat says. The hefty slug cat suddenly slices towards you with an incredibly alarming speed. What?! You don't get to finish your sentence before the hefty slug cat slams into your midsection. The force of the heavy slug cat's weight smashes you to the ground and you let out a pain yell. The hefty slug cat presses down on top of you and you wince as the hefty slug cat's immense weight crushes your frail body. Okay. Take a walk and throw it at them. I'm lonely. Hold their hand. You reach out your hand to grab the hold theirs curious of their reaction. They look at you with a confused expression, but they grab onto you as well. I'm gourmand, the hefty slug cat says. I'm you say before you realize you don't know your name. I, I uh, forgot my name. It's okay. It'll probably come back to you eventually, Gorman says. Cool. What are you doing out here right now? Gathering food and supplies for my colony. Okay. Out of all of them, I want to be with you. Take their hand and go someplace private. Uh, what are you doing? You decide, I guess. All right, they say. I'll make a feast. Whatever you want, my love. You both sit on some logs around the bonfire watching it burn. You watch as they begin to cook more food than you've ever seen. Are you sure you can eat all that, you ask? They begin laughing and nod their head. I'm a really, really big slug cat. I need a lot of food. I'm not just talking about a waistline. You stare at them in amazement. 
You've never seen a creature that large move around in such a rapid manner before. Oh, Gorman is fucking huge. Man is packing heat. Start eating the food as it's prepared. The hefty slug cat sits down next to you and you begin eating the food they've made. You fill your stomach up faster than you have in any other cycle before. The slug cat smiles and hands you more food. Uh, no thanks. I'm already at max food pips. Nonsense. Please enjoy my cooking. Don't insult the chef. You force yourself to keep eating beyond your limits. Suddenly the game crashes with an index out of range error in HUD.food meter. Okay. I think that's all the gourmet endings. Let's see if... I would not be upset if we can sleep with him. Now, I feel like Saint's gonna kill him regardless. But, God, this man is sexy as fuck. Can I have your autograph? The beast stares at you and begins to move towards you slowly. It opens its jaws and shrieks, a sound unlike anything you've heard before. You are awestruck by its appearance, and that feeling is only amplified by the fine presence as you feel its vocals resonate through your chest. It slams its black, large black talons upon you, pinning your body to the floor. You blush profusely. Oh, Saint killed him. Uh, you're looking fine. Thanks, I just got a haircut. My fur was getting pretty long. They look you over from head to toe. It doesn't seem to be particularly flirtatious, more a method of thorough inspection. You become self-conscious about your many flaws. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh, since when did members of your species have fur? You can't recall ever getting a haircut in your entire life. They're seemingly they're seeming more and more foreign to you. Could they really be an eligible mate? And why did you respond with me too? You've been too anxious about this encounter to really think about what you were saying. At the slug cap. Curiosity gets the best of you and you reach out to feel their skin. Is it the same as yours? What's this residual fur even feel like? However, they immediately jump back. Well, you're certainly very interesting, but maybe it's not such a good idea for us to meet right now. I best get going. You didn't need to make them uncomfortable. Hold up. Before you get a chance to say any more, they shoot their tongue toward the ceiling and begin swinging away into the distance. What a strange specimen. Unfortunately, now you're just alone again. Stumble around in the darkness. It would help if you had a light source, but you do not. As you stumble around, you feel something tickle up against your skin. That something turns into many things before two suddenly large, before suddenly two large fangs sink into the back of your neck. Your corpse is dragged away by a large spider as it returns to its burrow. Okay. Explore the void. Look behind you. Look all the way up. Interview the creature. The golden lizard. From Echo. You attempt to formulate a proper sentence, but find you are too terrified to speak. Terrified? That's not the word I would use. The beast does something that causes your mouth to gape open, your eyes to widen in terror. The creature steps forward and looks down on you with malice in its eyes. You feel a tremendous presence as the creature's horrible visage is applied to yours. You are powerless. You blush profusely. Go. Thanks, you're my hero. You reply to the slug cat in your best courting tone, hoping to impress a upon it the seriousness of the situation you are in. However, you have no reaction from the slug cat. Instead, you receive a feeling of trepidation from it, as if it knows something you don't. This causes you to have second thoughts without making a move. Uh, hey, you good? You question the slug cat's response to you. You're not just feeling the vibes. You're just not feeling the vibes <laughs> and want to make sure you're on the same wavelength with your potential mate. You try to reassure the slug cat. Yo, something was... Yo, something must be wrong with my eyes, because I can't take them off you. Are you trying to imply something? The slug cat asks, looking a bit annoyed. Uh, yeah, you picking up with what I'm throwing down? Yeah, you're making fun of my eyes. What? No! Throw down another one. Okay, look. Are you a time traveler? Because I see you in my future, you say, while striking a pose. Yes. The slug cat replies with a straight face. What? Yes, I am a time traveler. We all are. We follow the cycle. Okay. Look, dude, I just want to go out with you. Oh. The slug cat pauses for a few seconds, looking disappointed in you. In that case, no, I will not go out with you. Why? I'm not interested in relationships. I have higher priorities. The slug cat looks away as if trying to find a way to exit this interaction as soon as possible. Offer a gift. Okay, okay, hold up. Before you give up on me, the slug cat looks disinterested in whatever reasoning you might be, be, about, you might be about to give. I got you a gift, look! You hand the slug cat your egg. Maybe this offering will help win them over. You're surprised the expression immediately changes. Where did you find that? You'd give this to me? I'll give it to you if you go out with me. Done. I would marry you in exchange for this. The slug cat swiftly reaches for the egg. Huh? Let's not go that far yet. Do you have any idea what this is? The slug cat takes the gift and admires it deeply. It egg. Yes. This will finally solve everything. Your fur stands up on end. Okay, honey buns. Do what you have to do. I love you. The slug cat settles the egg on the ground and stares at it with determination. Let me take care of this, it'll all be over soon. Okay, we're doing this again. Okay, do these matter? 
Hold on, I think the things I choose there matter. Feel the creature's muscles. Please lick me. Don't touch that. What if I take the egg back? You sprint towards the slug cat to grab the egg before it does. That's all. That's all yours. You're not going to let this random dude touch your precious cargo. Who do they think they are? That's mine. Give it back. The slug cat leisurely turns their head back towards you and launches their tongue at you again. It sticks firmly onto your torso and you feel a harsh tug as the tongue falls back. It swiftly drags you across the ground, finally releasing its stick on you to fling you off the edge of a cliff. You fall into the darkness below as you lay... As you lay struggling to move your body, a black lizard slips out of a nearby pipe to make quick work of you in your defenseless state. Oh, wait. Wrong one. You blush profusely. Thanks, you're my hero. Hey, you good. Don't add another one. Look, I want to go up with you. Don't let up. This slug cat doesn't know what it's talking about. What higher priority could there possibly be than you? Being your mate is the only priority that matters. You just need to make the other slug cat realize their mistake. Well, I'm not leaving here without a mate, and you're not leaving here without one either. You stand your ground. However, the ground doesn't help you much as the other slug cat simply takes flight into the air and swiftly leaves. Make chase. You turn to chase after the slug cat, but are interrupted as you hear a loud pang sound again. Or at least you would have heard it if the neural synapses between your brain and your ears weren't shattered in the same instant. Instead, of hearing, instead you hear nothing, for you have ascended. Saint on the sick, but grind set. Thanks, you're my hero. Are you good? Throw down another one. Give up. You accept this reasoning. No need to force this issue further. You can find another mate elsewhere. You wave goodbye to the slug cat and it takes flight off to who knows where. However, you're also very close to the void sea. Perhaps you should just take the dive and procrastinate on worrying about relationships until after you've stripped your mortal coil. You begin to trip through the depths deep into the subterranean caverns, nearing the bottom of the world. You descend further and further down. However, as you reach one room before the void sea, an invisible void worm clips through the wall and shatters every bone in your body. What the hell? I thought that glitch was fixed a while ago. I don't know that glitch. Look behind you. Okay, I think that's all the saint endings. Wait and observe. Sure you can borrow it. Cover your ears. Oh, maybe it doesn't matter. Okay. Ah, uh, is that all the endings? Did we miss any? I think we got all of them. Okay, now the question is, which ending do we go for? So the thing is, we've got the choice between, um, like, Spearmaster being ascended, becoming an egg, becoming an egg with Moon and Rivulet, which is very tempting. I do like the idea of being an egg. There's also, um, Big Titty Dommy Mommy, um, Artificer, with her kids revived. But, like, I don't really want kids, so I don't think I'm really into that. Um, did I choose to ask the saint to lick me? Of course. You wouldn't. What about the blue lizard? The problem is the blue lizard is a bad end, Bubblebee. The blue lizard gets killed by a daddy long legs. Okay. Okay. Without listening to your response, the gill slug cat jumps on top of you. Mwah! You smell so good! You are so, so good! Whoa, calm down. You're being obnoxious, you reply. It's not that you have anything against it, per se, but this one just seems to be incredibly excited about you, and that makes you uncomfortable. Are you afraid of me? Yeah, a little. The slug cat suddenly leans forward and whispers in your ear. That isn't fear, that's respect. I like a slug with some fear in their eyes. I like a challenge. You have a challenge for me, don't you? Uh, you still do not know what to make of this slug cat. Its body is blue and slimy, and you do not feel particularly well about it. You would prefer to have a less hyperactive friend. You notice that it's watching you very carefully, as if it's waiting for a chance to pounce on you. You cannot help but feel that it is a little too friendly, and you're not quite sure why. So am I the bottom in this situation? Because I'm fine with that, if he wants to pounce on me. I mean, I'm not going to say no. Perhaps it's just the effect of the creature's natural exuberance, and you're overthinking it. Break the silence. Um, I should probably... So anyway, if you're looking to date me, you should probably meet my mother first. What? Sorry, it's a requirement. Do you want to go see her now? I, uh, yeah, sure, I guess. Yay, it's been so long since we had a visitor. They excitedly run in circles around you and grasp your hand, and then grasp your hand firmly. Come on, come on, let's go. Before you know it, you're being swiftly dragged out of the cave by them. Whoa. You're rapidly escorted towards, along the surface of the water towards a towering monolith of a structure in the distance. The slug cat does not let up their energy as they take you inside the structure and you quickly whip, weave through a maze of interior passages. I would like Rivulet to weave through my maze of interior passages. Your mother lives here? Yes, yeah, she's right in this next room. 
You emerge into a large open metallic chamber, the floors of which are soaked with pools of water. A mechanical device floats around the chamber, gleaming with floating lights. You don't understand. Huh? Where's your mom at? What do you mean, she's right there? The slug cat excitedly points towards the floating device, then randomly does a backflip. What do you mean? You question everything. Was this a trap? Is this even a viable partner? There is no doubt in your mind that this slug cat must be a construct, a program puppet controlled by her mother's voice. She is not truly alive in any way you can tell. This is simply the next generation of a very old tradition, using a new form of technology as a tool. I am looking for a soulmate. Honesty is the best policy. You tell the machine that you are here to find your soulmate. Your partner's mother looks at you with new eyes. You creatures and your romantic ideals, how sweet. A soulmate is someone who will ha help you find your path in life, be it good or bad, am I right so far? Yeah, I think so. I'm glad you were brought here to find someone special, someone who will... Uh, love and cherish you forever. It's important to find someone to share your life with. When you saw this thumbnail, you had to click, how am I enjoying the secret slug cat's gameplay? Uh, this has been a very great ending. Yeah. Also, for anyone who wasn't here, we did not have assistance beating this. We did not use dev tools. Uh, this is, I think, the first unassisted completion of this playthrough. Um, but yeah. The first live one, at least, yeah. Uh, it's important to find someone to share your life with, to find someone who will accept you for who you are, and who will love you unconditionally. Yo, lol, that's exactly what I was gonna say. Uh, did I visit Five Pebbles? I did not visit Five Pebbles. I heard of what would happen when we visited Five Pebbles. I did not want to go through the wall and up there. We took... Our path was, uh, Shaded, Industrial, Chimney Canopy, Sky Islands, hit those two Echoes, Passage out of Sky Islands, back to Industrial Complex, go through Outskirts, hit Farm Arrays, um... Hit the Echo in Farm Arrays, go through Farm Arrays, get to Subterranean, um... And then hit the Echo in Subterranean, then ascend down in the Void. That was our path. Perhaps if you go to Five Pebbles? If you make it to his room, he just kills you. But the Five Pebbles area, supposedly, is just underwater. Smile at the kind machine lady. Suddenly, your stomach starts to rumble. Okay, forget all of that. Okay, forget all of that. You poor thing. You must be starving. Your partner's mother orbits around you with concern. I can't believe my child didn't feed you before coming here. They have no manners. You try to track her position as the robotic arm spirals around frantically. They're trying to date you, and yet don't even know how to take care of you? For shame! Nah, it's cool, I'm used to starving, you shrug. Do you have any food, though? All we have at the moment are these marshmallows that Ruffles gathered last time they were out. You recoil at the food item. It's not one you're familiar with, and you're not sure what to make of it. You can have some, we have plenty. Are marshmallows in the game? I don't remember marshmallows. You thought Outskirts isn't rendered, you have to walk through invisible terrain? It's partially rendered. It's like half rendered, some of the terrain is like invisible. It's, it's all red. Um... I will be editing together the successful parts into one video that'll probably be like, I don't know, six, seven hours long. There were a lot of failures. And then uploading that to YouTube if you just want to see what like the actual progression through the game is. I am not going to be putting in like the five hours we spent dying in Chimney, oh sorry, in Sky Island trying to get out of the platforming section and shit like that. Okay. Off of my egg. Ah, you would like me to read this? It's a bit dusty, but I'll do my best. Hold on. Their mother begins to explain the properties of the egg to you in excruciating detail. Wait, no, don't explain it. Make food with it. Oh, of course. It's been a while since I've cooked a proper meal. The machine twirls around you through the air excitedly. With this egg, we can make a classic yet somewhat modern slug cake. You need more than an egg for that, you say as you ponder the orbulous egg. I can improvise. I'll have you know that I'm a very capable cook. Can you visit Moon? You can. Moon is dead. Uh, Moon is pre-Hunter. Pre being revived by Hunter's slag reset keys, so she's just dead. Sky Islands was pain. Sky Islands was unfortunate development. Um, okay, good luck, Mom. Oh, wait, but we get, uh, we get Rivulet, Energetic Top, and also Mommy Moon in this ending. This is the best ending. She suddenly pauses in the air with the egg. Wait a second, this egg? Yeah, it's an egg. This egg is just the right amount of portable. Yeah, eggs tend to be that way. This recipe would be just the right technical implementation. Implement this food into my mouth. Could this be the solution? Solution to my hunger, yes. Um, it's weird. It's somewhere between Spearmaster and Hunter, but like it's in two different spots in the timeline at once, or maybe it's before Sp It's not after Saint. No, no, no. It is before Hunter. But it's at like two different points on the timeline before Hunter. 
She suddenly cracks the egg in half. A forceful suction that begins to pull the machine and all of its floating lights into it. As they collect into a central point, it's as if all of their lights begin to combine to create an increasingly blinding glow. The suction only grows stronger, pulling the water, rocks, and surrounding metal into it. You and your partner are caught up in this and get assimilated as well. Open your eyes. In this white void, everything is combined. Your memories remain, but so too have you acquired the memories of your partner and family. Have you found your soulmate, or have you become your soulmate? It seems like one and the same. A perfect, undeniable, shared understanding of each other. A soul combined in unison. This was the state of being you were searching for. You are sure of it. Accept your fate. This slug, this slug cat is not canon. The things that happen in this slug cat are not canon, but they are on the timeline. Well, no, 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 because like the water treatment facility still exists or whatever, Zerolik. The thing that only exists for Spearmaster. So like it can't be late in the game. We spent time in the visual novel for a whole hour. It was a good visual novel. Well, yeah, yeah, but like saying Five Pebbles says they found a solution doesn't make the Slug Cat canon because it would have to take place after things. The things that happen in the campaign are not canon. It takes place before Hunter. If canon, it would be between Spearmaster and Hunter. Do the Echoes have different dialogue? The Echoes do not have different dialogue. Did I try to go to the tree? I did not try to go to the tree. Um, Hunter Longleg shows up as uh, this character. I have not seen Hunter Longlegs because I haven't failed a Hunter run on this save file. Um, but that would make it before Gormand, right? Because isn't doesn't Hunter Long Legs only exist for Gorman because, like, Gorman kills it or something, or it just stops existing by the time the other characters come? What I say was the hardest area? Okay. If you find a slug pup as Meme Cat, it can explode. Yes. Okay, so I'll go through all the changes that we've had. We started out in Shaded Citadel in Memory Crypts. Every cycle starts with downpouring for, like, a minute or two, which fucking sucks, by the way. That's one of the worst things about this character, is you have to wait a minute or two Um, well, yeah, like, the only Hunter run I did, Met Nerd, was when I did it on stream a couple of months ago, and we just finished it, and then I haven't gone back and, like, failed a run. So I didn't actually see a Hunter long legs when I played Gorman, because I didn't die. Um, but, start out in Shaded. Shaded does not have major changes. It is, for the most part, the same. However, there are red centipedes and spitter spiders fucking everywhere. We had to get past, like, three or four spitter spiders in absolute darkness with no light source to get out of Shaded. And that sucked. Um. And then, once we get an industrial, industrial had was just crawling with train lizards. Train lizards are a new lizard specific to this character. They are massive, super fast, and purple. And super tanky. I think I had been told they were like three times as tanky as a red lizard. Imagine a red lizard that didn't spit and gave no fucks about anything and was insanely tanky and moved at the speed of a train. With the weight of a train. That is a train lizard. Um, we got through industrial. We got to um, chimney canopy. Chimney canopy's thing was jumping in chimney canopy immediately exhausted you, and you are essentially unable to jump yourself. However, whenever you would go through tunnels, you would spawn a... one of the jumpy frogs, I think they're called yeeks, and the whole thing was you had to use the yeeks to get through chimney canopy. So instead of jumping yourself, you had to use the frog, and that also meant like you couldn't carry weapons, because the yeek takes both of your hands. Um, and it was really tough to get through there. I didn't go to the wall. Um, garbage wastes. The water is replaced with void fluid. That is called nacho cheese, and it's nacho cheese colored. And the whole thing is, like, palette swapped. Um, I did not go to garbage wastes on this character, but I did on another character, and, we got so and I got soft locked there. Um, 
Garbage wastes can easily soft lock you. Because since the shelters flood every cycle and it floods with nacho cheese, you can get soft locked there. Um, yeah, it's possible if you don't rest, but it's easy to get soft locked there. Um, we did not go to the wall <clears throat> or shoreline. We went to Pipe Yard. Pipe Yard was just trippy as fuck. The whole place was like changing rainbow colors and cycling through like trippy colors. <clears throat> I gotta clear my throat. We didn't spend much, very long in Pipe Yard, though. We only went to Pipe Yard. Disable shelter flooding? Yeah, you could probably play around with some of the remix settings. I think I just have the default ones that are enabled in Downpour. Um, what's up with the other areas? I'll go, you guys can tell me those now. Like, we can do spoilers for this campaign. Myros Vultures everywhere in Shoreline? That sounds awful. The Shoreline of Nacho Cheese? No, it's just garbage wastes. Um, we went to Sky Island. Sky Island is unfortunate development. It is... The gravity turning on and off happens in Sky Islands. There are daddy long legs everywhere. And the way out of dad the way out of Sky Island, we spent so long trying to do it and we couldn't do it. We tried to go two farm arrays from Sky Islands. But you had to do all of that platforming shit with the zappy poles everywhere. And also get past several really difficult jumps past proto long legs. There were proto long legs fucking everywhere. It was awful, 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 awful. Closest we got was like two rooms from the shelter at the end. Um, we had to use mu mushrooms and boost jumps and it was awful. And then outskirts was poorly rendered. Oh yeah, we can unpin the message now, yeah. Um, communications array? I did not go to communications array, so I'm not sure. I would assume it would follow the same logic as the rest of Sky Island though. Um, Outskirts was poorly rendered. The entire thing was red. It was filled with red creatures, red centipedes, red um, lizards, stuff like that. And a lot of the stuff was not rendered. Things were like... Things that were on screen were not actually there. The things that were on screen were like only partially visible. Um, I did not go to Tower of Gains for an extended period of time. I went there like a couple times early on when I was scouting out what the world was like. Didn't like it there. It looked... I've heard Kaizo Rainworld as the descriptor for it. That sounds reasonable. The jumps there seem insanely difficult to make. Sky Islands did look really cool. And the ambience, ambiance of the, the poles lighting up. Um, Bauma Rays was filled with invisible worm grass. Worm grass that cannot be seen until you get close to it. And it's fucking everywhere. Like, every surface is filled with worm grass. You can't sit still, except in very specific areas in farm ways. Um, also, I had been told uh, by somebody else, uh, I think Azura something, I know they're in the Rainworld Discord, had also been attempting this, and they had been getting pretty far. They had spent a long time on it. And they had a lot of trouble getting out of farm ways. It seemed like, I didn't have much trouble with it, but some of the reindeer sections, the Myros vultures, will attack you during those sections. And it can be very difficult to get past the reindeer sections because of the Myros vultures. You're so close to the ending of Rainworld, but you need to get max karma, so you have to go all the way back. You don't need max karma. Wait, do you have 10 maximum karma, or are you at less than 10 karma? Okay, my guess is we have zero points. You don't need maximum karma to um, go through the area. You need to have 10... You need to have your karma raised to the maximum possible level, but you do not to, need to be at the maximum level. Dude, we died so many fucking times. We died so many fucking times. Considering each quit to be a death, that's 250. Oh wait, but kill counts. Kill counts. Kill counts. Lot of red centipedes. Okay, kill counts. <laughs> the, the, the yeeks. All the yeeks we killed. It wasn't counting deaths on the screens when I rested, so I wasn't sure. 
Okay. 12.44. 16 hours, 1 minute, 25 seconds. And we have the ascending... Okay. Uh, but yeah. Going back to the other changes. Um, Subterranean. Um, whenever you would enter a room, within a couple seconds, the room would turn pitch black like it was in shaded. There were some ambient light sources, but for the most part, shaded was very dark. And it was also filled with red creatures. All the areas are filled with red creatures. I don't really feel like that's something to bring up as, like, a special thing for a particular section. Because everywhere where is just swarming with red lizards and red centipedes and trained lizards and spitter spiders and cyan lizards. And daddy long legs and monster kelp and myros vultures. They're just fucking everywhere. <clears throat> but, um, this character has 12 food requirement, as you can... Why did you plan for me? It'll be pretty sweet, yo. Oh yeah, sure, no problem. I'll definitely plan. Surely nothing will be bad, bad or wrong about this. Oh yeah, they're really cool. You'll have a great time with them. Oh, thanks, man. This looks fun. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you'll have lots of fun. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. God damn it, he does sound like Mickey Mouse. It seems like hovering over the play button on this plays a voice line. Mickey Mouse plays Rain World. Uh, but yeah, you have 12 food requirement as this character. You deal monk damage with spears, which is 0.6 to 0.9 spear damage, which means, let's say you want to kill a spitter spider, spitter spider is going to take 2 to 3 spears to kill. You can maul as this character, which is Artificer's mechanic, um, which is holding eat on a stunned creature to deal damage to it. We did do that a few times. Um... And this character has survivor shelters. How much damage does Maul do? I've heard it does half the damage of a spear throw. I'm not certain on that one, though. But since our damage... Or half the damage of a regular spear throw. Which is roughly the amount of damage we do with a spear throw. A little bit less, but... Um... We used Maul pretty effectively in a couple areas. Um... And every time you rest as a shelter with this character... One, you cannot starve as this character. Two... Every time you rest, you respawn with another egg. And the egg is a singularity bomb. If you have not encountered a singularity bomb, it's in the base game. But it's rather difficult to obtain. I did not find any during any of my playthroughs. Um, you can craft it as gourmand with two karma flowers and a bomb. And you can occasionally find it from elite scavengers. You just throw it, makes a massive fucking gravity shockwave. Pulls everything in and insta-kills it. Um... In the other campaigns, does it look the same? No, it's a reskin version of we. Ha it's a reskin singularity bomb. That's the the egg. Um, egg makes this character doable. Yes, if we did not have egg, I mean, trying to get enough food without egg is insanely difficult. I'm not gonna say it wouldn't be possible, but it would be absurdly unfun. It would just be ONG hell. Imagine if you had Saint Diet? Oh, God. I don't think that would be possible. I don't think you could... Eventually someone will record an eggless run? Potentially, yeah. But... Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say it's not possible, but it would be miserable. It would just be ONG. I feel like. With a lot of it. Um, but yes. There are slug cat pups. Black and red slug cat pups. Um, when they die, they are a singularity bomb, and they also drop another egg whenever they die. So you can use the children 
Can't wait for the speedrun of this character. The thing that I feel like would make this character miserable to speedrun, one is the super heavy RNG element to it. And two is um the fact that you have to wait for the rain to end every single cycle. That's miserable for a speedrun. In certain areas. There are some areas you can go while it's still raining, but in some areas you have to just sit there and wait. Because you can't go in the rain. And that's a miserable speedrunning experience. How many max pups can you get? I had two at most. Um, they seem to spawn around randomly. Um, trying to think. If there are any other things to mention with this character. I can't think of any. Oh, it's got the eyes from the dating sim. Guaman said he got a colony of 30. That's like... Have you seen Guaman's ending? Yeah, it's got the eyes from the, the dating sim. I think Twitch probably has the best quality download things. Does it make it canon? This character is not canon. There's another visual novel of unofficial from the same creator. Okay. Yeah, they had alluded to that in the first one. It said Spearmaster was the protagonist of that one. Okay. Um... Like I said, I've been considering doing Dance Pad Rain World and Multiplayer Rain World. Um, but it was in Gourmand Ending. Uh, Meme Lord. The visual novel can reference things that happened in canon without being canon itself. Oh, unless you- oh, sorry, you're saying the Colony of 30 being canon. Oh, I don't know. Um, I don't know. You can co-op in this character's run? Do you need to use Expedition? You need to put a TXT file in the folder. Can you use the other Slugcats? In this character's campaign with co-op? Yes? Huh. That's an interesting thought. That's an interesting thought. I feel like you just fucking blow everybody up if one of you are playing as... Question mark, question mark, question mark. Bluebird. So, personally, this Slugcat has a lot of names. So, Fantheal, Gorbo, INV, Inverse. I like calling it Blueberry Slugcat. Because it's blue, like a blueberry is. That's about it. I like to call them Nightcat. It's not Nightcat, though, right? Because isn't Nightcat a different color? Maybe it's not. Let's, uh... Yeah, I thought Nightcat was a Doku color. Um, are we able to spawn Nightcat just... Uh... I think blank will suck the tongue, tongue better. Uh, if I do this, will it be able to just spawn in? Huh. Hang on. How 
How does the keyboard control work? No sandbox unlocks? I don't have all of them unlocked. I haven't gotten all of them in the game. What's the button to spawn the slug cat? Grab? But on the keyboard, what is that? arrow key at the end of the menu. Yeah, no, that's that's not this slug cat. None of these are the right color. This is not night cow. The left looks closest to Night Cat? Yeah, that doesn't look anything like the Blueberry Cat. I get that it looks similar in the menu, but in game, the colors are very different. Uh, but yeah, I think it's gonna be the end of the stream today. I will figure, I will probably have the full successful parts of the run uploaded. Probably sometime tomorrow. Why is everyone Violet? I don't know. I have not played around with the multiplayer or arena in this game very much. I don't know too much about it. Uh, Yeah, I will honestly probably maybe play around with Dance Pad Rain World tomorrow. Depending on how I'm feeling. Or just edit this together and work on editing some videos. It's been an intense couple days working on this. Expedition is fun. Expedition is like challenge mode. You can play co-op, but if you change one player out of INV, you can't get them back. What does that mean? So like all players start as INV and then they can change, but they can't change back. Just player one? Okay. So player one... Okay. There are missions and challenges besides that game mode. I haven't looked at it too closely. Um... Man, I can't believe Azura was going at this for 24 hours straight. That feels so exhausting. There are conditions on characters. Yeah, I heard about those. Uh, I have no, I don't know anything about any of the challenges. Um, that is something I could potentially do. Can we use INV in non-meme campaigns? I don't know. I don't know. I think it could be cool if, like, the developers implemented a feature where, like, after you beat the game as them, you could use them in the other co-op campaigns or something in jolly co-op like once you reach that ending i know you can't i'm saying it would be cool if i think INV should stay unique in this regard yeah i mean i'm not against it staying the way that it is i just think uh it would be cool to be able to play around with them in some of the other modes as, like, a reward for beating it or something. But I'm not particularly inclined one way or another. It's good they even implemented him and not scrapped. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. I am tired. Yeah, mods are accept more accessible now, um, and more supported in-game. Uh, I remember 
uh, old Rainwood World modding was like the like the boy launcher or something. I don't remember what it was. I had remember downloading a couple of mods at some point, but it was like a, a launcher you had to get outside of the game, right? Like a vid every time I die in a game with somebody plays. That video would be like ten hours long, Meme Lord. We died a lot. Get some rest and think of touching muffles of a buffed Rubicon lizard boy. I'm just, I'm just saying, those lizards were the hottest character in the dating sim. Okay, blue lizard, yellow lizard. I mean, I'm, just, I'm just putting it out there. I'll be yeah. Bye everyone.